Ladies and gentlemen, it's football time in Tullahoma. Your town, your team. This is Tullahoma football on Light Tube and the Rooster 101.5. to Scott Chestine and Ken Keller at the stadium. Welcome back to the Lester Green McCord and Toma pregame show along with Ken Keller. I'm Scott Shastine. We are in Nashville, Maplewood and Tullahoma, just a few minutes away from squaring off in round three of the TWSAA state football playoffs. And Ken, let's continue with the uh, last two tools to victory. Stroop's accurate refrigeration tools to victory. Well, of course, the first one was neutralize the Fierce Panther pass rush. Secondly, limit quarterback Bobo Hodges' creativity. The Mr. Football finalist has 36 touchdowns and accounted for nearly 400 yards passing and rushing in last week's beatdown over Nolensville. The Cats' defense must hit him early and often tonight. And lastly, make it a four-quarter game. All three phases must click for Telehoma tonight. Special teams, offense, and defense for the Cats to hang close with a chance to pull off the major upset. Why not? Why not us? There are your Stroop's accurate refrigeration tools to victory, and that's been the Wildcats' mantra this week has been, why not us? Um, so why not the Wildcats? I, I'll uh, play devil's advocate. Here's why not the Wildcats. The Wildcats are committing, I don't know, an average of about 15 penalties a game over the last three or four weeks. Uh, that's one thing that will keep the Wildcats from pulling the upset tonight and make no mistake about it Maplewood is the favorite here they're at home uh, they're here consistently as a program uh, they've had a great great season they won the region championship but why not the Wildcats uh, maybe why not because uh, Tullahoma has a propensity to turn the ball over a couple of times a game and they're not going to be able to do that tonight Tillahoma's got to win the turnover battle, I believe. Ken, and, and they've done a great job of that. I think Tillahoma has forced, I believe it was 27 turnovers or something yes. like that with 17 uh, interceptions or so, 9 or 10 fumbles. Um, so Tillahoma's done a great job of forcing turnovers. Oh, yeah, they have. And, you know, as dominating as Maplewood's defense is, you know, they've created 31 turnovers. They allow only 10 points a game. So I think the, this game tonight, Tillahoma – may have to score in other ways besides offense. They may have to have some non-offensive touchdowns. Uh, defense has three safeties on the season. We've had several touchdown returns in the kicking game. I think we're going to need a little bit of everything tonight. We're going to have to pull out the kitchen sink. Offensively, we only scored six points. They're a tough defense to crack, but let's see what happens. Yeah, Maplewood's defense, their defensive linemen uh, dominated by seniors at front seven, and uh, they, they have held opponents down consistently all year held Nolensville to three points last week in their win in the second round of the playoffs so Maplewood and Tullahoma squaring off here Maplewood is in their all uh, maroon jerseys that's helmets jerseys pants they're maroon up and down with gold numbers trimmed in white Tullahoma in their cardinal helmets White jerseys and cardinal pants. Ty Cox, Matt Ross, Bryson Corn, and Sam Brock. Your captains for Tullahoma. The captains are headed to midfield for the Clayton's shoes coin toss. It's time to pull those laces tight. We're about two and a half minutes away from kickoff here in Nashville, Tullahoma, and Maplewood in the quarterfinals. A good contingent, good's not the right word, a significant contingent of Wildcat fans are here on the far side, the visitor's side. The coin toss taking place at midfield now with multiple uh, media members and camera operators. Telehoma wins that toss and will defer until the second half. Maplewood will decide which side of the field they want and whether they want the football or not. And when the other team defers, you almost always want the football. Maplewood will receive the opening kickoff. Tullahoma will move left to right as you listen here. Let's take our last break, Josh. This is the Lester Green, McCord, and Toma pregame show back with a kickoff. Your community matters. 
So does making sure it's well protected. Because Sally's isn't just a cafe. And Smith's isn't just a flower shop. It's years of hard work and investment. Hey, new equipment looks great. And in this moment, you realize your independent auto owner's insurance agent is the right person to protect it. Auto Owners Insurance. Do you know as much about insurance as you know about a zone read? Do you know exactly what it takes to make sure that your home, car, life, and your rival's new wide receiver are all adequately covered? How much insurance to buy? What deductibles are best? Do you run it straight up the middle or go with the play action pass? And then how do you put it all together? Don't be an armchair quarterback. You need to make the call to Rogers Insurance, your local independent insurance agent to help coach you through your insurance buying decisions. Rodney's Body Shop was voted Never's Choice Small Business of the Year by the Tullahoma Area Chamber of Commerce for 2016. And we work daily to earn that award from every one of our customers. We specialize in using the most current technology available, including environmentally friendly waterborne paint. We work with all insurance companies and will gladly help you with any insurance claims or questions you may have. Call us at 931-455-2570 or come by our new office located at 606 South Jefferson Street. Be sure to look for the bright red door. The crowd is rolling in. The hot dogs and hamburgers are cooking down below with the smoke waffling above the chilly Nashville skyline. Wherever you're listening, in southern middle Tennessee on the Rooster 1015 or around the world on the Rooster 1015 app, wherever you are enjoying this quarterfinal state playoff football game, the Wildcats are poised in the end zone to run through the banner, the cheerleaders leading the way. It's football time in Tullahoma, along with Ken Keller. I'm Scott Shastine. We are just about ready for kickoff here. Ken, your final take on this game before we get started. Well, Tullahoma just come out of the tunnel. Don Olive giving his last minute instruction this quarterfinals game. Tullahoma's made the final eight in Class 4A. A great achievement, 10 and 2, but there's no doubt they are the underdogs tonight in their biggest game of the season. The stakes are high. If Tullahoma can win, they will play a home game next week with a, a state, turn, state berth on the line. It is the fourth time that the Tullahoma football program has advanced to the quarterfinals of the state playoffs. The previous three times the team Tullahoma played won the state championship. One of those years, 1987, they advanced to the fourth round. And the team they played, Jefferson County, won the state championship. In 79, it was Cleveland. They won the state championship. I may have that backwards. And in 2010, it was Columbia, and they won the state championship. Tonight, it's Maplewood. Tullahoma will kick it off with Race Marin to kick. And for the Maplewood Panthers, uh, well, multiple players back to receive. It's a short kickoff taken at the 35. It's Sutherland to the 40. Sutherland's to the 45 and out to the 48-yard line goes David Sutherland in Maplewood. Excellent field position. First down and 10 at their 48-yard line. That yeah, short kick doesn't always pay off. Yeah, tell them a tackle made by Trent Parton there. And, and you're right, you know, this is a dominating Maplewood team. They've outscored their opponents uh, by a large margin, 84 to 10 in their first first two games. So, Tullahoma's really going to have to limit the creativity of quarterback Bobo Hodges. When he breaks the pocket and gets outside on the edges, he's very dangerous as a dual threat quarterback. River Jenkins, Ty Drill Mitchell, Ty Cox, and Matt Ross on the defensive line for Tullahoma. Maplewood opens up. Receiver split left and right. Hodges to throw. Wide receiver screen complete at the 50 and into Tullahoma territory goes James Mason with a gain of about three. Yeah, nice tackle by Tullahoma linebacker Peyton Howard. He had a big game last week in that 16-14 to 14 victory over Marshall County. Well, Maplewood moves quickly. A gain of four. Second down and six for the Panthers at the Tullahoma 48. Two receivers left. Two to the right. Single set back. And Hodges to throw. Looks to the left. Pass incomplete. Intended for Jamonte Kennard. Just a little high and through his hands. Ken, they got the matchup they wanted on the linebacker Peyton Howard. The pass was high. Oh, yeah, they sure did. And, and uh, Howard was the, a top target last week. Jamonte Howard, big play 
receiver for Maplewood. He had 144 yards on just three catches last week. So we got to keep our eyes on Kennard, number 14, as Maplewood will split two receivers left to the right. Third down and six. Panthers at the Wildcat, 48. Just underway, 11.23 to go, no score first quarter. Sutherland in motion, Hodges to throw. Here comes the pressure. Hodges scrambles out to the left, looks downfield. That pass complete. Excellent sideline route complete there to Kendrell Scurry, and that is a factory furniture first down and 10, Maplewood. Well, that's what we talked about. When he rolls out and gets outside the pocket, that's when he's dangerous with his arm and his legs. I thought Matt Ross at the right defensive end position was being held on that play, not able to get to Hodges to make the sack. Gain of 13 yards. It's first and 10, Maplewood at the Tullahoma 35. Hodges looks to the sideline. Single setback is Southern. Sutherland behind Hodges and Hodges will hand it to the sophomore he has hit at the line but spins out of a would-be tackler and picks up three yards before a host of Wildcats drive him backwards gain of three for Sutherland second down and seven yeah this high-powered Maplewood team they put up 56 points uh, in their round one win over to Cab County and they won 28 to 3 against Nolensville so you know their defense is going to be solid so it's going to be important for for Tullahoma to match them defensively and, and keep Maplewood out of the end zone here on this first drive Bobo Hodges will split Mikael Smith and Mason to the right side on second down and seven at the Tullahoma 32. Hodges from the shotgun. Tullahoma dancing around at the cornerback spot. Long count for Hodges. Now he'll drop straight back. Looking for the screen. Tullahoma played it well. Hodges now scrambling. He is down. The sack will be credited to River Jenkins, and it's third and long for the Panthers. Yeah, Hodges surveying the field, rolls out to his left, set up, tried to set up a middle screen that didn't pan out, and he abandoned the pocket, rolled out to his left. Nobody open. River Jenkins gets credit for the sack on the slip by Hodges. And quite frankly, Hodges really doesn't turn the ball over. His interception to touchdown ratio is fantastic. 36 touchdowns on the season, only six interceptions. So a six to one ratio there. Loss superb. Of, loss of 10 on the sack. It's third down, 17 Maplewood at the Tullahoma 42. Three receivers to the right. Hodges, straight drop. He's going long. That pass is incomplete. Far over the head of the intended receiver. And it's fourth and 17 for the Panthers. Well, in that field, I think there. Is more slippery and sloppy than it looks from up here. It looks pretty good from up here in the press box, but those players are they're kind of running gingerly in, in their breaks. Yeah, it's going to take field. Going to take a minute Already. to get used to it. Maplewood yep. will punt. The punter is Rashawn Dalton. He's an excellent left-footed punter. Back to receive that punt, Jacoby Thomas, standing at his 10-yard line. Fourth and 17 for the Panthers. No score. 9.34 to go first quarter. A high spiral that Jacoby Thomas will let hit. It takes a great Maplewood roll all the way down to the three-yard line. Tullahoma deep in their own territory. Well, the big man puts a beautiful spiral, comes off his left foot, as you said, and they pin Tullahoma deep. Now, this is a team that had three safeties for us last week. Their defense had three safeties. Tullahoma has three on the season. Nolensville had, or Maplewood had three against Nolensville last week in round two. So the Wildcats must be careful here. A no gain for three plays and a punt is better than a safety. Tullahoma's got to be cautious. The quarterback, Ben Fulton. The tailback, Bryson Corn. Three receivers to the right, Corn in motion. Fulton looks downfield. Here comes the pressure, and Fulton's going to run it out of the end zone. He's got a lot of room to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, to the 25 goes Ben Fulton. That's a factory furniture. First down and 10, Tullahoma. Well, an absolute huge game by Ben Fulton. He's the pressure comes up the middle. He scrambles out the left, down the Telema sidelines, all the way out. You talk about breathing room. That's a major breathing room for the Wildcats that much needed first down. Put it at the 19. It is a gain of 16 for Fulton on the first down carry. Tullahoma has a little room to breathe. First and 10 at the 19. Three receivers bunched to the right side. 
Jacoby Thomas in motion. He'll take the handoff. Blocking for him is Corn, and Thomas is slung out of bounds as he made his way to the 25-yard line, a gain of six yards. Yeah, that's just they're strong on all three levels of their defense, and some guys you got to look out for. You got to look out defensive end Clint Dowdy. He has 17 sacks, number nine tonight. Big defensive tackle Harlan Zerker, number 50, 71 tackles on the season, and then in that secondary, number six, T.J. Springer, seven interceptions on the season. So they're strong on all three levels, defensive line, linebacker, and secondary. Spot is at the 23. Second down and six, Cats. 8.47 left, first quarter, no score. And it is a direct snap, Kyler Parker. And Kyler Parker out to the 34-yard line and a factory furniture first down and 10, Tullahoma. Well, Tullahoma looks very determined this first offensive drive, moving the ball out from the shadow of their goal line and showing a couple wrinkles at uh, Jacoby Thomas on that wide receiver uh, run and now the, the Wildcat with uh, Mr. Parker. 12 yards on the carry, first down and 10, Tullahoma at its 35-yard line. And we've got a timeout on the field. The clock is malfunctioning. It did not start or run for that play. 8.47 to go first quarter, no score. Here's a Rogers Insurance timeout. Ah, oh, Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Okay, you okay? Are you dreaming about a Jeep? Come to the Truck Stop of the South. Russell Barnett, Crossroad Dodge Jeep Ram on Deckard Boulevard in Winchester. The area's only full-line business link dealer. The tradition, part of what makes the Tullahoma Wildcats so much fun to root for. We are T-Town Strong, Wildcats at work in the pride of the Tullahoma High School Marching Band. Consequently, that's also what makes shopping at Clayton Shoes so great. Sure, they have a huge selection, including New Balance, Dansko, Merrill, SAS, and more. But it's the tradition that makes shopping at Clayton's a win. Clayton's Family Shoe Store, downtown Tullahoma. Serving the area for over 100 years with service, quality, and fit. Proud supporter of Tullahoma. Tullahoma Athletics. Are you ready for some football? Are you ready for cool days and cold nights? We're here warming up to serve our community. <laughs> Stroop Jacket Refrigeration would like to congratulate the 2019 class of Tullahoma. Go Cats! Yeah! <laughs> Tullahoma football presented by Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat football! on the Rooster 101.5. Well, the clock did not run on that previous play, but Kyler Parker, Parker picked up 12 yards and a factory furniture. First down, Tullahoma at the 35-yard line. Fulton back in at quarterback. Brian Nelms is the tailback. And Fulton to throw. Here comes the pressure. He's looking for a screen. And Ben Fulton is sacked all the way back at the 21-yard line. Well, you got to get rid of the ball quicker than that. And that's one of the what, number one what we talked about was neutralize the Fierce Panther pass rush on our Stroops tools to victory tonight. Ben Fulton must get the ball out of his hands quicker than that. I mean, we you know. The offensive game plan tonight is going to be a lot of slants, quick slants, bubble screens, and draw plays. And they're coming. And that just, yeah, they're, you they gotta got to know they're back. They're coming. They're coming. So you got to get rid of it. Tullahoma second and 24 at its 21 yard line. Running backs on either side of Fulton in the shotgun. And Fulton will hand it to Jacoby Thomas. He has got a gap. Thomas around the left side picks up about 10, made up a significant amount of that sack, but it's still third and long. And Ken, it does not look like Bryson Corn or Kobe Burks are going to be part of this offense tonight. Yeah, so far, uh, no shows. Maybe they're saving them for the second half to see if they can go, but uh, who knows? Don't I mean, get we, me started. we're seeing all kinds of new wrinkles. We saw uh, last week uh, Samari Lane and Peyton Howard in offensive formations, and we've already seen Kyler Parker out of the shotgun early in this game. I'm telling them his first We're, drive. We are not saving anybody for the second half, surely. Fulton from the shotgun, third down and 13. Rolls right. Here comes the pressure. That pass is incomplete. Far over the head 
of the intended receiver, Jacoby Thomas, and it's fourth and 12. Well, I think a successful drive really for the Wildcats, although it doesn't result in points. They move the ball from the shadow of their goal line after that excellent punt by Maplewood on their uh, on their se offensive series where Telema forced them to punt. And good they drive the there. ball out pretty good to get some field position back. Nice, nice little field position yep. swap. Race Marin in the punt. And uh, Sutherland and Kennard are back to receive the kick for the Maplewood Panthers. Marin gets a booming end over end kick away that hits at the 30, bounces into the ar arms of Kennard, and Kennard is pounded at the 30 yard line. Yeah, it looked like big little Cooper Lawson, number seven, popped him first. So a good coverage there. He put, fielded the ball on a big hop, and Maplewood hoping for a good punt return there, but Mr. Lawson says no siree. Put it at the Maplewood 31 with 7.33 to go in a scoreless first quarter, and we are joined in the press box tonight by the Maplewood uh, coaching staff. So uh, it's cozy in here. It is. Toasty, and Maplewood has it first down and 10. Bobo Hodges in the pistol with Sutherland as the setback. Hodges will hand it off straight up the middle. Not much room there, two, maybe three yards as he's wrestled down by Ty Drill Mitchell leading the charge for the Wildcats. Yeah, not a host of Wildcats there. Nice gang tackling by the Wildcats. They showed up in numbers that time. 7-18 to go in the first quarter. We're finding both teams having trouble running the ball up the gut. As gain expected. Of, gain of two for Maplewood. Second down and eight at the 33. That's Beagle. Number, we're in number seven. Hodges pass out in the flat complete at the 35. And he's out to the 37. Goes James Mason. Third and short for the Panthers. Spot will be at the 37 yard line. So a gain of four. It is third down and five Maplewood at their own 36. Let's spot it at the 36. Third and five Panthers. I think the Wildcat defense needs to be aware of Hodges rolling out here with a, I don't with a run pass why the, option. I don't understand why the clock stopped clock right there. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not running. It was a. We've got serious yeah. clock issues here at Maplewood, and somebody needs to get the attention of Hodges. Pass out in the flat, incomplete. There's a flag on the play. Hold on, what do we got? And it is illegal procedure against the Panthers. Yeah, Maplewood looked discombobulated on that play from the outset right there. It may have been better if a flag had not been thrown because they were all out of sorts on that play. So that's going to move them back five yards and set up a third and be ten. Third and ten, yeah. The Maplewood 31. 6.54 to go in what is an extremely long first quarter because the clock <laughs> on multiple plays is not run. Indeed. <laughs> so certainly a pass play coming up here. Let's see if Tullahoma can get their 18th interception, 17 on the season. They played well back there. Who's going to make a play here? Hodges will split three receivers to the right, one to the left. His running back comes in motion. And back to throw is Bobo Hodges. He's going long over the middle of the field, incomplete. Far over the head of the intended receiver, it's fourth down. Yeah, coverage there by Jacoby Thomas, number two. So he's trying to get that ball out on a long pass to Kendrell Scurry, it looked like, for Maplewood. So pass over shot, too much mustard on that one by Bobo Hodges. Tell him a forces the second punt of the game by the Panthers. And back in to punt is Rashawn Dalton. Back to receive that punt, Jacoby Thomas. Punt will be measured from the 31. Snap is a good one for Dalton. He gets a kick away. It's a high short kick. Tullahoma needs to get out of the way and let her bounce. And it takes a great Maplewood bounce to the 33. So that is a 36-yard punt. And the Wildcats, though, improved their field position. Oh, yeah, and so far so good. Yeah, they improved their field position in two defensive series, two punts forced by that Wildcat defense. So, excellent start so far. Let's see if Tullahoma now in good field position, see if they can capitalize here. Spot it at the 32 with 6.35 to go in a scoreless first quarter. Along with Ken Keller, I'm Scott Shasteen. We are in Nashville at Maplewood High School. Quarterfinals of the TSSAA playoffs. Wildcats split three receivers to the right. Hollinsworth, Thomas, and Ross. One receiver to the left. That's Marin. 
Hollinsworth in motion, right to left, Fulton back to throw. Fulton's got a beat over the middle for Marin, incomplete. Marin had split a couple of defenders, but the pass just a little long. Yeah, narrow window there of opportunity, but just overthrown by Ben Fulton. Safety and cornerback coverage on that one. He had him there for a second. It looked like he was going to be more open than that, but it would have took a perfect pass to thread the needle on that one. So Bryson Corn, it appears, Ken, is going to be a little bit of a decoy blocker tonight. Corn having foot problems. Yeah. So far has not run the football. Tullahoma empty backfield. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Tight end on the left side. And this is Kyler Parker again. Parker straight up the middle. <laughs> lowers his head and pounds his way out to the 45-yard line. That's a factory furniture first down and 10, Tullahoma. Yeah, those big linemen, that big imposing front seven, couldn't find the 5'8", 150-pound Kyler Parker. He snuck his way between the guard and the center there and burrows up for the first down. Gain of 13 yards for Parker. He's still in on first and 10. Parker. Takes a snap, straight quarterback run this time, a yard, maybe two. The ball is loose, and that football has been recovered by Maplewood. At the Tullahoma 43-yard line, went to the well once too often there. Yeah, unfortunate turnover on Tullahoma's side of the field. So, you know, we talked about how good this Maplewood team is. They're 11-1 on the season. They do not need this, this kind of help. No. So now there's a flag on the play. Seemed like it came down after the play. 5.58 to go. No score here in the first quarter. It is holding against Tullahoma. It will be declined. And Maplewood is going to have possession. First down and 10 at the Tullahoma 44. That is not a good sign for the Wildcats. They could not afford to turn the ball over. No, certainly not. And it's certainly not on their side of the field. Bubble Hodges now with a short field to work with, just 45 yards from pay dirt. First and 10, Panthers at the Tullahoma 44. 5.58 to go. First quarter, no score. Maplewood brings a man in motion. A little shuffle pass to Kennard. Kennard around left end to the 40, to the 35. Driven out of bounds at the 33 is Jamonte Kennard, and that is a factory furniture. First down in 10, Maplewood. Well, this team just littered with a, with a roster full of athletes, and so Kennard did it last week in the passing game. Three catches, 144 yards, makes a nice run on that little wide receiver yeah, that was run a, in motion there. Was a little shuffle pass, so yes. that's going to go in the passing stats. 5.51 to go. First quarter, Maplewood on the march. First and 10 at the Tullahoma 32. It's going to add to Hodges' 2,863 yards passing on the season coming into this game. Maplewood with two receivers to the right. Slots on either side. Man in motion, and Hodges on a busted play just runs it straight up the middle. He's inside the 30 to the Tullahoma 27. He looked for another shuffle pass, and the man wasn't there. So Hodges ran it for uh, about four or five yards. Spotted at the 27, a gain of five. Second and five Panthers at the Tullahoma 27. River Jenkins with another tackle for the Wildcats. Maplewood again, three, two receivers to the right. Slot man on the left, strong side left. Hodges to throw. Hodges over the middle and complete. And he's sailing at football tonight, Ken. Bo Hodges, uh, Bobo Hodges, most of his passes have been far over the head of the receiver. Yeah, that one's held. And, that, and that's the best thing you have to do against him is, is keep him in the pocket. You know, tell them when he's a rush, their defensive ends, not past him, but equal to him. If he takes off running, collapse on him and try to sack him, you just can't let him get out of the pocket when plays break down. You know, I, I said in the first contest that I compared him a little bit to Deshaun Watson because he can create a play, busted play, into a big play. And that's what we've got to stay away from him. 5.14 to go first quarter. Maplewood third down and four at the Tullahoma 27-yard line. Hodges puts Sutherland on his left hip, brings a man in motion. It's a reverse, and it is Smith. Smith around the right, right side breaks one tackle. Smith tripped up by Hunter Jewell, but not before he picked up a factory furniture first down in 10 Maplewood. Yeah, Tullahoma missed one tackle on that play, and the Wildcat defender is down on his back around the 20-yard line, 22-yard line. So Maplewood gets this short field, and they're trying to take advantage and, and break on top here in this game. In the Gain of 10. It's a first down, and we do still have a Wildcat player on the field. 
So we will hold it right here. 5.05 to go first quarter, no score. And let's go ahead and take ourselves a Rogers Insurance timeout. Whether your vehicle is 20,000 miles or 200,000 miles, you'll get honest answers at North Jackson Tire and Auto Service. Miss Honey and Jonathan greet you with a smile and explain everything in a language you'll understand. Offering bumper-to-bumper -bumper vehicle repairs from brakes, exhaust, shock struts, and more. Oil changes from 2495. Tires from Goodyear, Kumho, General, and Yokohama. Get your vehicle treated the way you want to be treated. North Jackson Tire and Auto Services. Family owned, 2009 North Jackson Street, Tullahoma. Football season is here, and fall is not far behind. And with these fall gatherings come special occasions, anniversaries, birthdays, first dates, and before you know it, the Christmas holiday season is upon us. At Giles Dunn Diamond Company, we offer a great selection of fine, fashionable jewelry, as well as great selection of engagement rings and, of course, diamonds. We offer one-of-a-kind custom-made jewelry for every occasion. Great products and great values guaranteed at Giles Dunn Diamond Company, located on North Jackson Street in Tullahoma. Glickenwood's Family Dentistry understands you never get a second chance to make a good first impression, and your smile is an important part of that impression. That's why they put together the most experienced, friendly, and professional staff. Add to that the most sophisticated diagnostic and treatment technology available. The result is a winning smile so powerful you could break ice with it. Visit the smile experts at Glickenwood's Family Dentistry and let your smile be the first thing people notice about you. Glickenwood's Family Dentistry, glickenwoods.com. Hello, football presented by Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat on the Rooster 101.5. Hunter Jewell, the injured cat, he is up and on the sidelines, and Maplewood will pitch it to Beals, and Beals has very little room. In fact, he lost two or three yards, and Beals is down. No, great closing speed there by Peyton Howard, an excellent play. Just shot the gap, saw the toss sweep left, knived through. That Maplewood offensive line, untouched, made a big-time tackle right there. Second down and 13, Maplewood at the 20. And, uh, again, we have an injured player on the field. It is Bills, who we don't have on our roster. Deshaun. But, uh, Number seven. Number seven. Deshaun Billups. Deshaun Billups. Bingham. Bingham. All right, he wore 17. He wore 17 last game, so that's Bigham. Yeah, he had a big game last week, 85 yards on only 14 carries. So uh, we hope uh, Hunter Hunter Jewell was the Wildcat that uh, came up slowly, but he's back into the game So for the Wildcat defense. All right, we've got a break in the action, 440 to go in a scoreless first quarter. Here is a Rogers Insurance timeout. Listen up, weekend warriors. Builder Supply has everything you need to knock out that home improvement project. From lumber and roofing to windows, doors, trims, or stair parts, Builder Supply has it all. Repainting a couple bedrooms? Builder Supply is your authorized Ben Moore and Porter Paints retailer. In business since 1922, Builder Supply offers quality personal service and over 100 years of experience. So before you tackle your next weekend project, stop by Builder Supply, 301 Southeast Atlantic Street in Tullahoma. Stan McNabb Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Chrysler, Dodge, and Jeep has been serving the Middle Tennessee area for over two decades. Since the very beginning, Stan McNabb has believed in putting their customers and employees first and doing what they can to help make our cities a better place. Stan McNabb Chevy, Cadillac, Buick, GMC, located at 2000 North Jackson Street, and Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram at 1200 East Carroll Street in Tullahoma. Do you know as much about insurance as you know about a zone read? Do you know exactly what it takes to make sure that your home, car, life, and your rival's new wide receiver are all adequately covered? How much insurance to buy? What deductibles are best? Do you run it straight up the middle or go with the play action pass? And then how do you put it all together? Don't be an armchair quarterback. You need to make the call to Rogers Insurance, your local independent insurance agent to help coach you through your insurance buying decisions. Football presented by Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat. Football! On the Rooster 101.5. Maplewood Panther, and he is being assisted off the field. And uh, boy, you always uh, hate that sort of thing for a senior. Bigham uh, unable to put any pressure on on a leg, so we, we certainly hope that it's not as bad as it appears. 4.40 to go here in the first quarter. No score, Kenneth. 
It's been about defense, that turnover by Tullahoma killer. Yeah, it sure has, and uh, sets up a short field for this Maplewood offense, and they're powerful enough uh, to get things going. Uh, Let's take a North Jackson tire quick drive around the region. Yes, yeah, so the opponent for next week, whoever wins this game, probably going to be facing Greenville. Greenville still up 14 zip over Anderson County second quarter action. Maplewood second down and 13, handoff Sutherland. Sutherland straight up the middle, he's running over. Tillahoma Wildcats into the end zone for the touchdown. David Sutherland, the sophomore, looked a lot more like the David Sutherland we saw last year than the one we saw three weeks ago. Yeah, David Sutherland had a big game against us last year as a freshman. The sophomore just goes right up the middle, straight handoff, great blocking by that big offensive line. They just rip a hole in Tullahoma's defense, and he knocks over a couple Wildcat defenders on his way to the end zone. So Tullahoma turns it over. Maplewood turns it into six, and the Panthers will go for two, as they always do after a touchdown. They will line up with an offset, smokestack eye set and Hodges drop the football Tullahoma's got it the conversion attempt is no good 414 to go in the first quarter Maplewood six Tullahoma nothing here's a Rogers insurance timeout your community matters so does making sure it's well protected because Sally's isn't just a cafe and Smith's isn't just a flower shop it's years of hard work and investment hey new equipment looks great and in this moment you realize your independent auto owner's insurance agent is the right person to protect it. Auto owner's insurance. Rodney's Body Shop was voted Never's Choice Small Business of the Year by the Tullahoma Area Chamber of Commerce for 2016. And we work daily to earn that award from every one of our customers. We specialize in using the most current technology available, including environmentally friendly waterborne paint. We work with all insurance companies and will gladly help you with any insurance claims or questions you may have. Call us at 931-455-2570 or come by our new office located at 606 South Jefferson Street. Be sure to look for the bright red door. Are you ready for some football? Are you ready for cool days and cold nights? We're here warming up to serve our community. Stroop Jacket Refrigeration would like to congratulate the 2019 class of Tullahoma. Go Cats! Yeah! Football presented by Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat. Football! On the Rooster 101.5. It drives 44 yards in a minute and 41 seconds and scores on a 20-yard run by David Sutherland. And the Panthers convert the Tullahoma turnover into points. And Mr. Keller, that's why you can't turn it over. Uh, no doubt about it. And... Uh, you know, especially, you know, a big stat in the game is, is points converted off turnovers. So right now, that's six zip in favor of the Maplewood Panthers. And so what do you do? You lose uh, Deshaun Bingham to an injured right ankle. You hand the ball off to sophomore David Sutherland. He promptly rips right through the Tullahoma defense. And it, this whole game has been played in, in the Tullahoma end of the field. Yes, it has. Kickoff is a short kickoff that will be taken at the 22-yard line by Quentin Howard. He's up to the 25, and he is wrapped up, fights his way out to the 31, and that's where Tullahoma will begin again. Pretty good field position for the Wildcats. Whenever you can get out over the 30-yard line, that's what you're looking for. Yeah, and then in game one, three weeks ago, just 21 days ago, the last meeting here on October 26, uh, the Panthers won it 14-6. Tullahoma scored first, broke out on top, missed the conversion, was up 6 -0. Yep. So let's see if Tullahoma can mount a comeback right here. Let's see if they can respond. Paul Henry on that offensive line for the Wildcats along with Garrett Harris in Poe. Tullahoma first and 10 at its 31. Two receivers left, two to the right foot. Straight drop. Here comes the pressure. Ben's going to tuck it down. Spin his way out to the 32. He might have gotten a yard. 
Yeah, tough. he's going to have to get the ball out of his hands quicker than that, or he's just going to be a punching bag back there for that Panther defense hit tonight. Second down, Tullahoma. Second down. Gain of one for Fulton. Second down and nine for the Wildcats at the Tullahoma 32. And Maplewood secondary doing a good job on Tullahoma's receivers. Yeah, Bryson Corn was in, in the in as a receiver, came running back out of the backfield, just lined up in the slot out here. But uh, right now, as you said, just simply being used as a tough. He hadn't run it yet. No. He is in it tailback on the right hip of Ben Fulton. Jacoby Thomas comes in motion right to left. Fulton will hand it to Corn. Corn around the left side. Bryson lowers his head. Might have gotten a yard. It's third and long for the Cats. Well, he chucked a Maplewood defender on that one. He got a Maplewood defender getting up slow. He looks like his left shoulder. He's coming off the field. So, uh, punishing run by Bryson Corn, although it only netted a couple yards. It's good to see him get a handoff and, and play. I didn't think he's going to play tonight. So, gain of one for Corn. Third down and eight Wildcats at their 33-yard line with 2.45 left to go in the first quarter. Maplewood leads 6 to nothing here in the quarterfinals of the Class 4A playoffs. Fulton from the gun. Maplewood jump. Tullahoma's going to get a free five. So instead of third and eight, it's going to be third and three for the Wildcats. Well, that certainly helps us. So now you're in a position where you might better run. But I know that number 20 for Tullahoma jumped. So did he jump before the defender move? Let's see. Yeah, now there's a discussion at the middle of the field by the officials. With 2.36 to go. Scared they may reverse this one. Don't be scared. Just be concerned. <laughs> the call is illegal procedure against the Wildcats. Yeah, Hollinsworth jumped over here at the right end, lined up at the wide receiver position. But it's great to see Bryson Corn get his first carry. The young man, 16 touchdowns on the season, has had a spectacular senior year, Scott. 1,156 yards oh, coming into this contest. He carried this team in the middle of the year, Ken. Just mm -hmm. game after game, he carried them offensively. Third and 13, Tullahoma at its 28-yard line. Clock runs, 2.30 to go, first quarter. Tullahoma, two receivers left, two to the right. Corn on the right hip of Ben Fulton. Third and 13. Fulton, here comes pressure. It's a screen pass. Intercepted. Maplewood. No, nope, they rule it incomplete. I thought he picked it off. Uh, I don't know who the screen was for, but Tullahoma didn't have a player close. It's fourth down. Yeah, ball underthrown and behind the intended target. Uh, so a lot closer to Maplewood than it was a Tullahoma player that time. Yeah, Maplewood defender dove for it and almost yeah. came up with it. He thought he did. I thought he did. Thankfully, he didn't. Uh, just straight pressure up the middle by that uh, defensive front four. And, you know, I, I kind of named them before the game in, in pregame the monsters of Maplewood. The Steelers had the steel curtain. The Cowboys had doomsday. The Minnesota Vikings had the purple people eaters. Tillahoma to punt. It's a snap to race Marin. Marin gets away an end-over-end -end kick. That will hit at the Maplewood 45, take a great Tullahoma roll all the way down inside the 35. Cooper Lawson downs it at the 32, and that is a 22-32 40-yard punt for Race Marin. Well, the times we punted, it hasn't hurt us. They haven't scored on those possessions, but that one buggy boo, that turnover, cost us six points. Ken, I have worked around a lot of electrical things in my time. I smell something burning and up here. The burning that you smell is electrical burning. Mm. So if these, headphones, smell like popcorn. if these headphones fry our head, uh, you'll know why. Mm. Maplewood, first and 10 at its 32-yard line. The Panthers split three receivers to the right side. Leading Tullahoma six to nothing. Hodges handoff Sutherland. Sutherland looks for a block and does not get it. Sutherland out to the 35, and that's it. He got uh, two, maybe three yards. Yeah, Big Ty Cox made first contact on that one. Tullahoma defensive end who had a spectacular week, uh, being named player of the game. He caught a touchdown pass. He forced a fumble that he recovered, and that game-winning safety running uh, the quarterback. Uh, making him throw an errant throw to no intended receiver. Tell him a wins the game. Game of, gain of two for Sutherland. Second down and eight Maplewood at the 34. 
Hodges keeps it straight up the middle behind Sutherland and Hodges just fights his way out to the 39 a gain of five for Bobo Hodges he's so effective running up the middle yeah crash down there by number 52 Ty Cox with a second straight tackle so maybe he's starting to heat up a little bit the leader of this tell on defense him and Samari Lane the leading two tacklers uh, we need those two to shine bright tonight for tell to have a chance gain of four for Hodges third down and three three and a half at the Maplewood 38. One minute left to go, first quarter. And the Panthers lead the Wildcats six to nothing. Single man-to-man -man coverage on the near side. Tullahoma with the run blitz. Maplewood hands it off Sutherland, and Sutherland is stacked up and driven backwards. Oh. Excellent defensive call by the Wildcat that coaching sure staff. Was. Samari Lane and a host of Wildcats in the secondary. Guys flying out, Wildcats flying through the air all over the place. Excellent stop when Tullahoma needed it. So only 34 seconds left in the first quarter. Tullahoma's done a great job against this high-powered Maplewood offense now. We're talking nearly five quarters of action, only allowing 20 points. But Tullahoma's offense has to do their part, Scott. I mean, it's just been lethargic in five quarters of action, only six points in five quarters. That's about a point plus a quarter. Maplewood set to punt it with Dalton on fourth and four from its 38. At least the Panthers are showing punt. Jacoby Thomas deep for Maplewood. Snap good, and here it comes. And the clock runs. Maplewood's going to let the clock run out. We've played one here in Nashville. And the Maplewood Panthers lead the Tullahoma Wildcats 6 to nothing. Tullahoma football presented by Stan McNabb, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Fiat on the Rooster 101.5. Back in just one minute. Are you ready for some? The tradition. Part of what makes the Tullahoma Wildcats so much fun to root for. We are T-Town Strong. Wildcats at work in the pride of the Tullahoma High School Marching Band. Consequently, that's also what makes shopping at Clayton shoes so great. Sure, they have a huge selection, including New Balance, Dansko, Merrill, SAS, and more. But it's the tradition that makes shopping at Clayton's a win. Clayton's Family Shoe Store, downtown Tullahoma. Serving the area for over 100 years with service, quality, and fit. Proud supporter of Tullahoma Athletics. Your community matters. So does making sure it's well protected. Because Sally's isn't just a cafe. And Smith's isn't just a flower shop. It's years of hard work and investment. Hey, new equipment looks great. And in this moment, you realize your independent auto owner's insurance agent is the right person to protect it. Auto owner's insurance. Whether your vehicle is 20,000 miles or 200,000 miles, you'll get honest answers at North Jackson Tire and Auto Service. Miss Honey and Jonathan greet you with a smile and explain everything in a language you'll understand. Offering bumper-to-bumper -bumper vehicle repairs from brakes, exhaust, shock struts, and more. Oil changes from $24.95. Tires from Goodyear, Kumho, General, and Yokohama. Get your vehicle treated the way you want to be treated. North Jackson Tire and Auto Services. Family-owned, 2009 North Jackson Street, Tullahoma. This is Tullahoma Football, presented by Stan McNabb, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Fiat. On the Rooster, 101.5. Maplewood to punt on fourth down and four as we open the second quarter. Kick is away, and it is a booming kick. Fair catch called for and made by Jacoby Thomas, and then he is tackled. So Tullahoma's going to get a free 15 yards. He just didn't see the fair catch. Yeah. It happens. But it's good for the Cats. They need 15 free yards right now, Ken. Oh, sure it's, do. Tullahoma's offense has really done nothing. Yeah, they have not done anything of significance. No splash plays, no big plays down the field. I think the biggest play was a uh, wildcat run by Kyler Parker on the, on the first series for about, what, 15 yards maybe. But other than that, no accomplished plays in the passing game down the field. And the only time we've scored on them this season, we hit Matt Ross on a little seam route down the middle that he trucked it to the house. And we need to get Matt Ross uh, involved in this passing game tonight to have a chance. So the call is fair catch interference against Maplewood. That is a personal foul because obviously somebody can really get hurt on that kind of play. Uh, bring it all the way out to the 38 where Tullahoma will have it first down and 10. As the second quarter is now underway and the smell of fresh cooked 
chicken waffles <laughs> through the press box. Our man Luther is wearing a drumstick. Oh, he is. Wearing that he, sucker he's putting, out. He's a serious hurting on that drumstick. Ben Fulton <laughs> back to throw. Here comes the pressure. Fulton gets away to the 40. Fulton to the 45. Fulton lost the football. It's been picked up by Maplewood at midfield. To the 45. 40. 35. And driven out of bounds by Bryson Torn. And that is a turnover number two for Tullahoma. Well, that's a shame. Uh, he had a nice run close to the sticks, close to the first down, but he got crunched about the 48-yard line. The ball squirts out. It looks like Maplewood now is going to have their 33rd turnover on the season. Tell them was second tonight. You talk about a short field. The Panthers have it at the Wildcat 32-yard line. Well, you, you never like to see your quarterback take that kind of a hit. Mm -hmm. uh, ben, and he's a junior. Look, you live and learn. Um, it's playoff intensity here at Maplewood. I'm sure in hindsight, watching that film, he, you know, it's easy to say, I probably should have just gone down right there instead yeah, of taking just that Just trying hit. to make a play. Had the first down, but you got to get down when contact is on its way for sure. So first and ten, Panthers at the Wildcat 32. Again, the uh, game just being played on Tullahoma's side of the field. There's a flag on the play. Fresh, fresh five, free, free five. Well, in that first game, you know, Tullahoma had a couple turnovers. The defense stiffened in short field situations. They really got tough inside the 20-yard line, inside the red zone. And, boy, for Tullahoma, they really desperately need to, to hold them out of the end zone on this drive. Can't go two scores down to this bunch. So it's the penalty flag uh, requires a conference. And the call is illegal procedure against the Panthers. No, what are you doing? You're talking to So Maplewood will start this drive with a first and 15 at the Tullahoma 37. Again, the Wildcats will take all the free yards they can get right now. Maplewood dominating the line of scrimmage, and the Panthers have it first and 15. Hodges to throw. Here comes Ty Cox. Hodges can trying to get away from Cox, and he does. And Hodges will scamper out of bounds at the 40-yard line, a loss of three on the play. Great pursuit by Cox. Oh, heavy pursuit by Cox, trying to run him down. And he gets a little assist there from his buddy Samari Lane, Tullahoma linebacker number 26. And they run him out of bounds for a, for a big loss. So a loss, uh, looks like they're going to spot it at the 40. A loss of three on the play. It will be second down and 18. Put it at the 41. Second and 18, Maplewood at the Tullahoma 41. 11.22 to go in the half. Stupid as hell. Big matchup at the top here of our screen. Kendrell Scurry and Jacoby Thomas. Hodges, deep drop, pass out in the flat, complete. Pass On the near sideline to the 35-yard line is Jamonte Kennard, and it's a gain of about five. Nick Kennard rushed it, run out of bounds by number 22, Hunter Jewel for the Wildcats. Now this is a third down, but probably two down territory here for Maplewood inside. Tell them was 35. Uh, you know, you're kind of in that little area where you don't punt because you're only going to gain a few yards. You've got two down territory here. Tullahoma needs a stiffen. Gain of seven on the completion. Third down and 12 for the Panthers at the Tullahoma 34. Maplewood leads six to nothing. 11-10 to go in the half. Big third down here for this Tullahoma defense. Hodges from the shotgun to throw. Here comes the pressure from Jenkins. Hodges eludes him, now being chased, and Hodges will really just threw it away. There was a receiver close, but uh, it's fourth down oh, for the Panthers. Nice pass rush by River Jenkins. Uh, ran him out of the pocket, and then Ty Cox got after him and def actually deflected the pass as uh, Hodges was rolling to his left trying to find a receiver around the first down marker. So it'll be interesting to see how the Panthers call this here. It's at the Tullahoma 34. I don't think they're going to punt that football. We know they're not going to try a field goal. It is fourth and 12 at the Tullahoma 34. And that last play was a big play for the Tullahoma defense. This one's a lot bigger. Well, they're putting good pressure on Hodges right now. That's, that's, that's a good thing. Fourth and 12. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. Hodges looks left all the way. Hodges looks, looks. He's got all day. Pass is intercepted. Tullahoma intercepted at the 12-yard line by Race Marin. That's as good as a punt. Yeah, it is. Yeah, just as good as a punt. Maybe even better if it would have rolled.
throw through the end zone. So Tullahoma gets the ball there. Nice interception by number three, Tullahoma safety senior race. Marin picks that pass off intended for Maplewood target. So that's Tullahoma's 18th interception on the season. The first turnover they forced in this game has 28 on the season for the Wildcat defense. Tullahoma will begin this drive at its 12-yard line with 10.40 to play in the first half. And the Wildcats trailing the Panthers six to nothing. Tullahoma desperately needs to get something going on offense. Corn is the tailback to the left of Ben Fulton. Receiver stacked on the left side. Jacoby Thomas now shifts to the right side, and this will be Corn. And Corn's got a little lane, and Bryson is loose at the 25-20 yard line, driven out of bounds near the 20. It looks like he's going to be a yard or two short of the first down, but uh, Bryson showed a little explosiveness there, Ken. Maybe, he sure did. Maybe yeah. uh, he feels better than we thought. An excellent run right there for, for big number nine there, Bryson Corn, Steve rolling around the right edge to first down yardage. Second down and one. Tullahoma at the Wildcat 21 with 10.30 to go in the half. And same set for the Cats. This time receiver stacked left and right. And again, Thomas in motion. This will be a handoff to Jacoby Thomas. Thomas lowers his head and picks up a factory furniture. First down and 10, Wildcat. A oh, nice run there by the sophomore Jacoby Thomas. Still no appearance by Kobe Burks. So it looks like that number two is going to be counted on heavily in special teams. He's returning punt. Punts, kick returns, and also taking uh, taking some carries in tonight. We need to find him in the passing game as well. He's a deep threat. The Motlow Bucks beat Jackson State tonight down in Lynchburg, 90 to 80, to open TCCAA play. Congratulations to Coach Arthur Latham and the Bucks. They have a nickname, don't they? The Green Jays. <laughs> the Green Jays. First and ten, Tullahoma at its 25-yard line. 9.50 left to go, first half. Maplewood leads 6 to nothing. It's Kyler Parker back in at quarterback. And Parker on basically running the Wildcat as a quarterback picked up five yards. The Wildcats running the Wildcat. With a quarterback. You don't usually run the Wildcat with a quarterback. That's true. Spot it at the 30, a gain of five for Kyler Parker who fumbled in the first quarter, but other than that has been very effective in the Wildcat set, and he is still there, and Tullahoma wants to talk about it. Nine, oh no, Maplewood does. 9.23 to go in the half. Panthers lead it 6 to nothing. It's a Rogers Insurance timeout. You're good to go, Grandpa. The tradition, part of what makes the Tullahoma Wildcats so much fun to root for. We are T-Town Strong, Wildcats at work in the pride of the Tullahoma High School Marching Band. Consequently, that's also what makes shopping at Clayton Shoes so great. Sure, they have a huge selection, including New Balance, Dansko, Merrill, SAS, and more. But it's the tradition that makes shopping at Clayton's a win. Clayton's Family Shoe Store, downtown Tullahoma. Serving the area for over 100 years with service, quality, and fit. Proud so supporter of Tullahoma Athletics. Stan McNabb Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Chrysler, Dodge, and Jeep has been serving the Middle Tennessee area for over two decades. Since the very beginning, Stan McNabb has believed in putting their customers and employees first and doing what they can to help make our cities a better place. Stan McNabb Chevy, Cadillac, Buick, GMC, located at 2000 North Jackson Street, and Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram at 1200 East Carroll Street in Tullahoma. Listen up, weekend warriors. Builder Supply has everything you need to knock out that home improvement project. From lumber and roofing to windows, doors, trims, or stair parts, Builder Supply has it all. Repainting a couple bedrooms? Builder Supply is your authorized Ben Moore and Porter Paints retailer. In business since 1922, Builder Supply offers quality personal service and over 100 years of experience. So before you tackle your next weekend project, stop by Builder Supply, 301 Southeast Atlantic Street in Tullahoma. This is Tullahoma Football, presented by Stan McNabb, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Fiat. Football! On the Rooster 101. Welcome back to Maplewood High School in Nashville and a North Jackson Tire drive around the region. The Greenville is uh, all over. Anderson County, two undefeated teams coming into that game, 35-7, Greenville. Tullahoma 
on second down and five splits Ben Fulton wide to the left side and Kyler Parker is the quarterback Parker wants to throw over the middle it's intercepted Maplewood at the 35 to the 30 25 20 all the way down to the 16 yard line the third turnover of the night for the Maplewood Panthers, and that's big number nine, Clint Dowdy. Oh, wow, Clint Dowdy. The man we mentioned earlier with 17 sacks in the season. Drops back on that little screen. Tellahoma sets up, sets up a new play on that. Shifts Ben Fulton out to wide receiver near the Maplewood sidelines. Parker tries to hit the tight end, Ross, over the middle. But guess who was in the way? Big number nine, Clint Dowdy. Tellahoma's third turnover. And we haven't even played reached halftime yet. And it's only six to nothing, which is a yes. minor miracle. 9.09 to go in the half. Maplewood first and 10 at the Tullahoma 16 yard line. Hodges from the shotgun, looks to the right, pass to Smith, complete. Smith is coming all the way back across the field. And Smith eludes one tackler. Smith picks up a block on the far side and there's a flag on the play. Yeah, there's and there's a loose football on the play. And it has been recovered by the Wildcats. <laughs> Tullahoma recovers the Maplewood awesome. fumble by Smith. So let's let this all play out here. We've got a flag on the play and an apparent fumble. Well, that flag's going to be a clip on uh, Marshall on uh, Maplewood. They they pushed Race Marin right in the back. They called a they called a holding or a legal push. Uh, yeah, he was chasing the play down and he got pushed right in the number three in his back and hit the ground face face planted. So we did not see who recovered that fumble for Tullahoma, but the penalty is going to take it to the 10-yard line, and that's where the Wildcats will begin this drive. First and 10 at their own 10, and you sort of get the feeling that uh, it's becoming critical. Tullahoma's got to establish some sort of offense, and I don't know if these tricks are going to do it. Yeah, back-to-back -back turnovers by both teams, so uh, it's a wet football. Yeah, Parker no interception, doubt. Maplewood fumble. Ben Fulton is back in at quarterback with Brian Nelms at tailback. Fulton to throw. Here comes the pressure, and Fulton's going to going to run it. Fulton stiff arms a would-be defender, and then is dropped there after a gain of maybe one. <laughs> These quarterbacks scramble out of the park at your par pocket. You're saying, hold on to the football, young man. Well, well, yeah, we have five turnovers in this first half. You're saying that in your head. I'm saying throw it, throw it, throw it. A gain of three for Ben Fulton. Second down and seven for the Wildcats at the 13. Tullahoma trying to get some sort of offense consistency established. So far, they haven't done it. Second and seven, Tullahoma at the 13. Here comes Kobe Burks in motion. Burks takes the end around handoff, puts his head down at the numbers, and fights his way out for a factory furniture. First down and 10, Tullahoma. I told you they're saving him. <laughs> he got into the game. He made an appearance, so a pretty good run there. He comes off the field after that one play, trying to go. So we've both seen Corn and uh, Mr. Burks here in the first half. Tullahoma, as you said, just down 16 We'll Our six to zip in spite of three turnovers. Spot the ball at the 19-yard line, and I think you're on to something. I think they're just going to use Burks and Corn. Situationally, yeah. Occasionally, yeah. yeah. Try to get a little something out of them. Yeah. First and 10, Tullahoma at the 19. Fulton to throw. Here comes that pressure. He rolls to the left. Ben keeps his eyes downfield, then will run it to the 20. And out to the 25, and then flag. he is hammered all the way out of bounds. He gets pounded into the fence, and there's there's the flag. Finally, the flag comes out. Yeah, the referee closes the play. Just sit there and stare and give, his, give him a camera and let him take a picture <laughs> of our mangled quarterback wrapped up through the, the chain link fence. <laughs> ben Fulton runs it out of bounds at the 25-yard oh, line, and he is not getting up. Boy, he really got shoved right into that fence. Yeah, he did. Got his way up to about the 25-yard line. And uh, 7.24 to go here in the first half. And this game has taken a sudden turn because that was pretty ugly. 7.24 to go in the half. Maplewood 6, Tullahoma nothing. Here's a Rogers Insurance timeout. Wow. Ah, oh, Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Yeah. 
Okay. You okay? Are you dreaming about a Jeep? Come to the Truck Stop of the South. Russell Barnett, Crossroad Dollars Jeep Ram on Deckard Boulevard in Winchester. The area's only full-line business link dealer. Football season is here, and fall is not far behind. And with these fall gatherings come special occasions, anniversaries, birthdays, first dates, and before you know it, the Christmas holiday season is upon us. At Giles Dunn Diamond Company, we offer a great selection of fine, fashionable jewelry, as well as great selection of engagement rings and, of course, diamonds. We offer one-of-a-kind custom-made jewelry for every occasion. Great products and great values guaranteed at Giles Dunn Diamond Company, located on North Jackson Street in Tullahoma. Are you ready for some football? Are you ready for cool days and cold nights? We're here warming up to serve our community. Stroop Jacket Refrigeration would like to congratulate the 2019 class of Tullahoma. Go Cats! Yeah! Mr. Second, your home for Wildcat football. The Rooster 101.5. Well, this play is going to be a critical play in this game. Ever how it works out. Ben Fulton being helped to the Tullahoma sideline, unable to put any pressure on his right leg. We won't speculate beyond that. Tullahoma, after the personal foul, is going to have it first and ten at their at the Wildcat 40 two-yard line, and Kyler Parker now becomes Tullahoma's quarterback. Uh, he, and he's played hey, four, five, six snaps already at quarterback, but Ben Fulton, I would be shocked if he's back tonight. Tullahoma empties the backfield, two receivers to the right, one to the left. And Parker will take the snap. Parker's just going to run it straight up the middle. Kyler Parker out to the 44, a gain of two. Well, we also know that Jacoby Thomas is taking snaps from the quarterback position. Big Bryce and Corn coming back onto the field, replacing Nims. Maybe that's where they get the big power running game going with number nine right here because your, your star quarterback who's thrown for 1,700 yards now out of the game for Tullahoma. Call it a gain of one for Parker. It's second down and nine. Wildcats at the Tullahoma 43. Clock runs 6.50 to go in the first half. Maplewood leads 6 to nothing. Parker splits three receivers to the right, one to the left, and hands it to Corn. And Corn to the 45. Corn lowers his head and pounds his way out to midfield. Third and two for the Cats. Ken, they, they, you said it. They got to have Bryson Corn tonight. Yeah, got to have Corn. You know, it's amazing that the three turnovers at Tullahoma and their starting quarterback out of the game and all the litany of injuries that Tullahoma had. We're on the road against an 11-1 team and just down by six points with 6.14 to go in the first half. Gain of six for Corn. Third down and a short three, Tullahoma at the 49-yard line of the Wildcats. Parker. Oh, ball's on the ground. Corn falls on it. Nope, Maplewood falls on it. Fourth turnover for Tullahoma in the first half. And that handoff was ugly. It, it never really happened. The handoff never happened. Mm. Parker's going to get credit for the fumble because Corn never had possession. Fourth turnover of the game. This uh, for Tullahoma here in this first half. And Maplewood is going to have excellent field position at the Tullahoma 48. Let's we'll see if the defense can stand up again. That's the third turnover by Parker. That's two fumbles and an interception. Tell him also has an additional fumble by Ben Fulton. 5.53 to go in the half. Maplewood leads 6 to nothing. Bobo Hodges hands it off to Sutherland, and Sutherland straight up the middle inside the 45. Rolls to the 43. It's a gain of five for Sutherland. Well, another short field. We're giving the ball on the 48-yard line. Last time they got a fumble on our 44-yard line on their possession. They scored in the first quarter after fumble. Maplewood lines it up quickly. Two receivers left, two to the right. Hodges brings Smith in motion. Hodges. Wide receiver screen, incomplete. It's third down and five for the Panthers. I'm, I grimaced on that one because in the NFL there had been an instant replay there. I don't think he had it long enough, but he almost had. They got one foot down, but not the second one before he was hitting the ball, jarred loose. I thought Tallahoma might have had a turnover there, but they really was an incomplete pass. 
It has been a turnover marred first half, but Maplewood only leads six to nothing. Panthers third and five at the Tullahoma 43. Hodges in the gun, brings Smith in motion. Hodges to throw. Hodges looks left. Hodges looks right. Hodges sacked. Ty Cox back at the 49 yard line. It's fourth and nine and 10 for the Panthers. Well, Tyrese Cox coming into this game with 21 tackles for loss. Add another one, seven sacks on the season and 81 tackles coming into this game. This guy is a menace from the defensive end position. The ball rests on the Tullahoma 49 yard line. It is fourth down and 10 for the Panthers with 4.45 to go in the half. Maplewood leading six to nothing, but give the Wildcats credit. They've turned it over four times, and they're hanging tough. Well, they're playing championship defense, but they're not playing championship offense. we got to find a spark, but we'll one play away from being in the lead of this Maplewood game. Maplewood to punt it. It's a good, decent snap, a low line drive. Jacoby Thomas lets it go, and it will be down at the 12-yard line. A 37-yard punt oh, yeah. for Maplewood. Yeah, plenty of time, 421 to go in the first half for Tullahoma to score. They got a long field to, to deal with here inside their own 20 yard line. So Scott, what do you, what what's worked offensively in the first half? Next Friday morning. Uh, nothing pretty much. Yeah, now, now that you're Kyler Parker running the ball has been the yeah. best offense Tullahoma's had. So now your quarterback that can pass the ball, stretch the field vertically is out of the game. So uh, that deep passing threat gone, Tullahoma's going to have to work the ground game here. Kyler Parker. Junior quarterback in the shotgun with Corn to his right. Parker hands it to Corn, and Corn is blasted in the backfield. A loss of two. Uh, they, uh, he did a, a you know a handoff, a fake handoff, and Parker kept that one, Scott. So he he nestles out and gets about three or four yards on that one. Great fake. Right That's there. a heck of a ball yeah. fake right there. Yeah, now. he did. Tuck it right in Corn's uh, in his tummy, pulls it. Takes it three yards forward. So again, we'll call it two. Second down and eight. Tullahoma at the 14. Good call, partner. I'm a little obstructed. Let's, let's just understate that. And uh, Parker now has corn on his left hip. Second down and eight. Parker this time wants to th look like he wanted to pitch it to Corn, but that was just a ball fake. Parker will tuck it down and run and lost a yard or two. Yeah, no mystery there when they uh, sent Corn in motion and Kyler was the only one in the backfield. You knew where the ball was going and what he was going to do with it because we saw him throw that one pass over the middle. It got intercepted intended for tight end Matt Ross. So, uh, Ken, if there's basically back. no pass threat, um, I don't. I just don't see what Tullahoma does. I think you got to get the ball out to your receivers on bubble screens there's and let no them make one-on-one -one plays, but you better get rid of it quick. I don't, I don't think that's Parker's game right now. Yeah. Tullahoma third and nine at its 13-yard line. Thomas is the tailback. Parker back to throw. Here comes the pressure, and he is sacked. Back at the nine, a loss of three. So two straight plays for losses. Leaves Tullahoma at fourth down and 13 at the 10-yard line. And Cats just got to survive. Ken, two minutes, 25 seconds, survive to the half and try to make a new plan. Yeah, big Eric Johns, number 34, collapsed on him and got that sack. So Tullahoma punting the ball from the end zone and you got to hope for a good snap and get a good punt. They set two receivers deep to field this so you can't really rugby style it to a sideline. Race Marin will take the snap. Marin gets a high, short kick away. That's a shank. Takes a decent Tullahoma roll to the 39, but that's measured a 29-yard punt. And Maplewood will have great field position. Well, we're flirting with fire, Scott. How many possessions has Maplewood had tonight? I can't count them all. On our side of the field with first downs, the defense has been spectacular tonight for the Wildcats. They bowed up. They limited quarterback Bobo Hodges, a Mr. Football finalist in 4A. Done a relatively good job on the running game, except for David Sutherland's burst up the middle for that long touchdown run. Other than that, Maplewood has nothing offensively. 156 to go. Panthers lead the Cats 6 to nothing. Eighth possession of the game for Maplewood. Hodges, straight drop, looking long over the middle. Pressure. Hodges going to 
run, throw it to the sideline, incomplete, broken up there by Marin. What a great defensive play by Race Marin. Yeah, the wide receiver was behind the secondary. Marin just put his hands up at the last second and scrapes it with his fingernails to deflect it off. So, uh, Second 10, the receiver was there, just slightly underthrown there by Hodges, or that would have been a touchdown. Good play by Marin. One of my favorite words, Race Marin, pirouetted <laughs> in the defensive backfield to get his hand on the football. That's Second right. and 10, Maplewood at the Telehoma 39. That means he turned his body all the way around. <laughs> Hodges, two receivers to the right, one to the left. Sutherland takes the handoff, and Sutherland is hit in the backfield and dropped. Peyton Howard with a big hit for the Wildcats. It's third and long, Maplewood. Well, when you're playing middle linebacker, that's how you fill a hole. A couple linebackers were run blitzing among those number 18 or 16, Peyton Howard. So, an excellent play. Another tackle for loss, that Wildcat defense. Boy, it has been spectacular. Third down and 12 for the Panthers at the Tullahoma 42. Hodges, two receivers to the right, straight drop. Little pass on the right side is complete to Kennard. Kennard's to the 40. Kennard to the 35. Kennard to the 30. Kennard finally brought down at the 25, but not before he picked up a factory furniture. First down and 10, Maplewood. Well, that was all Kennard on that one. He just, Hodges distributes the ball to him in the flat. He's open, cuts back across the field, into the middle of the field, and gets the first down. Gain of 18, first and 10, Panthers at the Telehoma 24. 50 seconds left to play in the half. This is Hodges on the keeper, and Hodges is to the 20. Hodges is to the 10, and Hodges driven out of bounds at the eight yard line. It's a factory furniture, first down and goal to goal for the Panthers. Well, we see that dual threat coming out here now on Mr. Uh, Mr. Hodges. He had 97 rush yards last week, passed for 291 in that route over Nolensville. Spotted at the Tullahoma 9, first down, goal to go, Panthers. 43 seconds left to go in the half. Maplewood leads Tullahoma 6 to nothing. And Bobo Hodges puts everybody where they're supposed to be. He's really excellent field general for this Maplewood team. Deserves that Mr. Football nomination. And there is a flag on the play. And let's see who that goes against. Ken, call that penalty for us. Let's see, the legal procedure, false start type penalty on Maplewood. So that's going to be five yards. They're going to come back to the 13. Going to set up a first and goal from the 13. I'm going to tell Homer, really. Well, how many times can you can you go to the barrel here? And I think Molly Hatchett I mean, said it best. Geez. They are flirting with disaster they are. every day. They are. First down and goal. Maplewood at the Tullahoma 14-yard line. I think the clock just runs when they decide yeah. to turn it Arbitrarily. On. Arbitrarily, seconds. that's the word. Kennard in motion, Hodges to throw. Hodges looks to his right into the end zone. It is incomplete. Quentin Howard on the defensive. Boy, that was a last sec, last millisecond knockaway in the back pylon, right pylon of the end zone. Quentin Howard with the with the uh, deflection. So 34 seconds left to go. Maplewood second down in goal at the Telehoma 14. That was a great play by Howard. Maplewood may have gotten away with a little push off there. It's open. That pass was intended for number three, Mike Mikael Smith. So, you know, they, they got three more downs to get it. They've got 34 seconds. They're going to probably see three passes to the end zone here. Scurry single covered on the far side by Thomas on second and goal at the 14. Hodges looks for Scurry. Oh, Scurry made a great move that pass and complete over the head of Scurry, but he was open for the fade. I'll tell you, I've really, really been impressed with these Telema cornerbacks this year, all of them. Uh, so Quentin Howard's played well. He went out injured early in the season. Jacoby Thomas has been spectacular, as has Kobe Burks, all three of those guys. But this young man, number two, with his size and just being a sophomore, he could really evolve, I think, in the next couple of years to be a D1 prospect. But with his cover skills, long arms, his athleticism. You called that hits. early in the year. Yes, I think so. Maplewood third down and goal at the Tullahoma 14. 27 seconds left. Bobo Hodges looks Scurry's way again. Back to throw. Scurry, guarded by Hodges. Pass over the middle is incomplete. Broken up 
talking about Race Marin, who's having a great game defensively. He sure is. And those Telema defensive backs, they've had 18 turnovers, 18 interceptions on the season. You don't always have to have an interception. You saw three straight deflections by Telahoma defenders uh, that have thwarted this drive. Hopefully, well, not yet. It's no. fourth down. They got another shot, and that's when they're most dangerous on these third and fourth and longs. It will be fourth down and goal, Maplewood, at the 14. Uh, the play clock is going, and Maplewood says let's call the timeout. 21 seconds to go in the half. Panthers with fourth and goal, leading the Cats six to nothing. Here's a Rogers Insurance timeout. Stan McNabb, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Chrysler, Dodge, and Jeep has been serving the Middle Tennessee area for over two decades. Since the very beginning, Stan McNam has believed in putting their customers and employees first and doing what they can to help make our cities a better place. Stan McNabb Chevy Cadillac Buick GMC located at 2000 North Jackson Street and Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram at 1200 East Carroll Street in Tullahoma. Rodney's Body Shop was voted Never's Choice Small Business of the Year by the Tullahoma Area Chamber of Commerce for 2016, and we work daily to earn that award from every one of our customers. We specialize in using the most current technology available, including environmentally friendly waterborne paint. We work with all insurance companies and will gladly help you with any insurance claims or questions you may have. Call us at 931-455-2570 or come by our new office located at 606 South Jefferson Street. Be sure to look for the bright red door. Glickenwood's Family Dentistry understands you never get a second chance to make a good first impression. And your smile is an important part of that impression. That's why they put together the most experienced, friendly, and professional staff. Add to that the most sophisticated diagnostic and treatment technology available. The result is a winning smile so powerful you could break ice with it. Visit the smile experts at Glickenwood's Family Dentistry and let your smile be the first thing people notice about you. Glickenwood's Family Dentistry. Glickenwoods.com. And let's take a drive around the region courtesy of Jonathan and Miss Honey at North Jackson Tire in Tullahoma. Third quarter score, Maryville leads Farragut 20-3. to These are Class 6A scores. And in the second quarter, Oakland leads Mount Juliet 7-0. Brentwood leads Ravenwood 7-0. Oak Ridge leads Knoxville Catholic 27-14. Joe Gaddis leads Steve Matthews. Maplewood fourth down and goal at the 14. Hodges empty backfield. Hodges to throw. Hodges pass incomplete intended for Mikael Smith. And Tillahoma's defense hold. Oh, they had a little help on that one. So they sent the receivers on the right side deep to the end zone and, and sneak Mikael Smith out in the flat. Number three, he was wide open. Pass just a little bit too hot to handle and it falls harmlessly to the ground. So the Wildcats, as you said, hold once again miraculously. <laughs> Take a knee. Yes, take a knee, mercifully. go take to the locker a room. knee right here and try to figure out a way to move the football. Got to go back, get another plan. And I, I, I'll tell you what, Tullahoma <laughs> does a great job of making adjustments at halftime. I have full confidence that if this defense can continue to play like this, Wildcats are going to figure out a way to move the football. Well, Tullahoma takes that knee. Stephen, when you run the clock out on the knee, he's got you hold your breath that the ball don't pop out somewhere, huh? That's a good point. Four turnovers. We have played 24 minutes in the quarterfinal round of the Class 4A playoffs, Quad 2. And at the half, Maplewood leads Tullahoma by a score of six to nothing. Stay tuned for the Rodney's Body Shop halftime show. Telehoma football is presented by Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat on the Rooster. 1015. Back in three minutes. Your number one wild card. Do you know as much about insurance as you know about a zone read? Do you know exactly what it takes to make sure that your home, car, life, and your rival's new wide receiver are all adequately covered? How much insurance to buy? What deductibles are best? Do you run it straight up the middle or go with the play action pass? And then how do you put it all together? Don't be an armchair quarterback. You need to make the call to Rogers Insurance, your local independent insurance agent, to help coach you through your insurance buying decisions. 
The tradition, part of what makes the Tullahoma Wildcats so much fun to root for. We are T-Town Strong, Wildcats at work in the pride of the Tullahoma High School Marching Band. Consequently, that's also what makes shopping at Clayton Shoes so great. Sure, they have a huge selection including New Balance, Dansko, Merrill, SAS and more. But it's the tradition that makes shopping at Clayton's a win. Clayton's Family Shoe Store, downtown Tullahoma. Serving the area for over 100 years with service, quality and fit. Proud supporter of Tullahoma. Oklahoma Athletics. Ah, oh, Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Okay, yeah. you okay? Are you dreaming about a Jeep? Come to the truck stop of the South. Russell Barnett, Crossford Dodge Jeep Ram on Deckard Boulevard in Winchester. The area's only full-line business link dealer. The ball to open the second half. The Wildcats will be moving right to left here. Who wants to play Greenville next week? That is the question. <laughs> Guys up there in the press box chuckling on that one. They like that one, Scott. Well, you let you set them up on that one. <laughs> Here, here's the thing. Everybody wants to win, and everybody wants to go the fourth round. But honestly, nobody wants to play Greenfield. Maplewood set to kick it off, and the second half is underway. 24 minutes away Good start. from the fourth round of the playoffs and Maplewood kicks it out of bounds. Tullahoma will have it first down and 10 at the 35. Well, let's see who marches out at quarterback for the Wildcats. Is it Jacoby Thomas, the sophomore, or the sophomore Kyler Parker? Looks like it's going to be Parker, number 11. <laughs> so Tullahoma has Paul Henry as the center. Also on that offensive line is Ty Drill Mitchell. The Wildcats show Garrett Harris. Also on that offensive line is Ian Poe. Jake Hollinsworth, Jacoby Thomas, and Race Marin are split wide to the right. The tailback is Bryson Corn. Kyler Parker is the quarterback, and Parker will hand it to Jacoby Thomas, and Thomas he maybe got a yard. Maplewood sort of saw that coming. No game yeah, now what you're seeing is, is is 11 guys crowding the line of scrimmage within five yards of the line of scrimmage. So uh, that imposing defense now, all, all those guys, all three levels closer to the line of scrimmage. Tullahoma finding a hard time running the ball tonight, and they haven't completed a pass. So I still think you got to try to stretch this defense out and try to throw something over the top here. Maybe gotta have one some, coverage. Yeah, you got to have some time. Tullahoma's quarterbacks have had no time to throw. Parker in the shotgun will run it. Nice hole over the left side. Parker breaks one tackle at the 35 out to the 38. It's third and seven, Tullahoma. Junior linebacker Eric Johns and senior corner. Well, the big thing right here is ball security. You're still in this game hoping maybe your defense or special teams can make a play to score because right now offense is just, you know, we don't keep first downs, but Tullahoma doesn't have over a handful. Have over a handful. I can count them on, on one hand surely for the game. And almost every one of them came on Kyler Parker runs mm -hmm. straight up the middle early. Tullahoma started out showing that early and picked up multiple first downs, but Maplewood closed that door pretty quick. Third down and seven, Tullahoma at the Wildcat 38-yard line. Parker has horn to his right, and there's a flag on the play. Tullahoma may have taken too long to get that play off, and they do. So penalties do not help. No, certainly with an inexperienced sophomore quarterback in there, not in the biggest game of, of the season for the Tullahoma Wildcats. Uh, you know, those, those penalties really are tough to overcome. Not to be too dramatic, but it's the biggest game in a decade yeah. for the Tullahoma Wildcats since 2010 when Tullahoma last advanced to the quarterfinals and lost to Columbia who went on to win their only state championship. Tradarius Goff was a stud for that Columbia team. Wildcats third and 12 at the 33. And Tullahoma wants to talk about it. I think we're fixing to get another delay a game. Had to call timeout on that one. 10.31 to go in the third quarter. Panthers lead it by six. It's a Rogers insurance timeout. Get
Whether your vehicle has 20,000 miles or 200,000 miles, you'll get honest answers at North Jackson Tire and Auto Service. Miss Honey and Jonathan greet you with a smile and explain everything in a language you'll understand. Offering bumper-to-bumper vehicle repairs from brakes, exhaust, shock struts, and more. Oil changes from $24.95. Tires from Goodyear, Kumho, General, and Yokohama. Get your vehicle treated the way you want to be treated. North Jackson Tire and Auto Services. Family-owned, 2009 North Jackson Street, Tullahoma. Football season is here, and fall is not far behind. And with these fall gatherings come special occasions, anniversaries, birthdays, first dates, and before you know it, the Christmas holiday season is upon us. At Giles Dunn Diamond Company, we offer a great selection of fine, fashionable jewelry, as well as great selection of engagement rings and, of course, diamonds. We offer one-of-a-kind custom-made jewelry for every occasion. Great products and great values guaranteed at Giles Dunn Diamond Company, located on North Jackson Street in Tullahoma. Your community matters. So does making sure it's well protected. Because Sally's isn't just a cafe. And Smith's isn't just a flower shop. It's years of hard work and investment. Hey, new equipment looks great. And in this moment, you realize your independent auto owner's insurance agent is the right person to protect it. Auto owner's insurance. This is the Rooster 1015. Tullahoma uses an early timeout here in the third, or a timeout early here in the third quarter. And the Wildcats will now line it up third down and 12 at the Tullahoma 33. Tyler Parker is the quarterback. Bryson Corn the tailback. Parker going to hand it to Corn. A little misdirection. Bryson 35 40, 45. Corn out to midfield. Gets a factory furniture. First down in 10. Tullahoma. Great blocking by the Wildcats. Well, I was wondering when they was going to going to run a draw play. You know, I said that in the opening in the in the Stroops tools to victory that Tullahoma had to get the ball quickly out of Ben Fulton's hands, and you would see slants, bubble screens, and draws. We haven't seen the slants and bubble screens, but that was the first draw, and it went for big yards. It's probably the biggest play of the game offensively. Definitely. 18 yards for Bryson Corn on the draw play. First and 10, Tullahoma at the Maplewood 49. Three receivers to the right. Parker fakes the pitch, and Parker keeps it, but there's a flag on the play. Flag came out. Illegal procedure against Tullahoma. And, you know, you get a new quarterback, Ken, Kyler Parker, I suspect, does not run a whole lot of reps with the first team. Yeah, I, I would I'd say you're exactly right. And, these, you know, these five yards don't seem like a whole much, but it's Killing an eternity uh, with a young quarterback in there. And playing this guy, this defense you're going against, 10 yards is hard enough to get on three downs, much less 15. So that's 10 yards Tullahoma's given away here on this first drive of the third quarter. <laughs> With 10.20 to go, catch trail six to nothing. First down and 15, Tullahoma at its 46 yard line. Back to throw Parker, great protection, but it breaks down. Parker puts his head down and runs for three, maybe four yards. Did a good job of not staying back there too long. Uh, he's a tough little rascal, I'm telling you. He's getting hit by these big, big Panther defenders and bouncing right back up, so we're Looks like we've lost down and distance on the scoreboard, so Second you're just going to die by the partner. Yeah, I've been doing that all my life. I <laughs> there never, you go. I never look at the scoreboard. Second, Second down and 12, Tullahoma at the 49 of the Wildcats with 9.41 to go in the third. Maplewood up, 6 to nothing. Parker wants to run it straight up the middle, and he took a shot. After a gain of a couple, Parker took a shot and then gets a little talking to him. Yeah, treated very unrudely. No, very rudely by, by number nine, Clint Dowdy, the big defensive tackle. Gives him an extra nudge in the back on that one. No flag called on the play. You know, he's Dowdy is just really good. Intercepted he is. that pass in the first half. Do you remember, he's a do you, beast. Do you remember where they said he was looking at? I believe it was LSU. Yeah, I think he was the LSU guy. He is really good. Tullahoma third down and nine at the Maplewood 49. Scott, I take that back. He's walking on to Tennessee. Parker. They're going to get him a good one there. Comes to the sideline. Gets the call from offensive coaches on third and nine. 
8.45 left to go in the third quarter. Maplewood leads Tullahoma 6 to nothing. Let's go. Let's get off the field. Kyler Parker taking over for Ben Fulton here in this playoff game. Rolls to the right. Parker gets away from a defender. Throws it downfield. It is incomplete. Hit the ground. Had a chance right at the marker, but it's incomplete. Yeah, pass intended for Hollinsworth right at the first down marker. Takes a one-skip bounce. Unfortunately, in, bat in uh, football, you can't ha let that happen. Boy, it'd be nice That's if you That's not could. allowed. You yep. know, if you could just bounce it off the turf. Yeah, basketball, you can make you a little nice bounce pass. But Se not short, in football. Second baseman can yeah. throw it to first, and it can yeah. bounce. Why not football? Shortstop can throw it across the field on one hop from the hole. Race Marin to punt on fourth and nine at midfield. Low snap. Marin gets a low line drive kick away. Takes a great Tullahoma bounce all the way back to the 10 yard line. Picked up by Maplewood. Tullahoma swarms and there's a flag on the play. No, Colton Tucker, the Tullahoma junior, number 13, makes a nice horse collars and makes a nice tackle. Well, let's hope it's not a horse collar tackle. Well, let's just say Collie whipped him to the ground. I didn't mean to say horse collar, but I did. But there is a flag, and I think it's going to be a block in the back on Maplewood. But nice tackle by, by number 13, Tucker. Yeah, that's normally what we see on punts and kickoffs. Yeah. And uh, the Panthers are walking backwards. 8-14 to go third quarter. Maplewood leads Tullahoma 6 to nothing here in Nashville. Really, uh, uh, this is a throwback game, isn't it, Cam? It this is, is throwback old school. Big time. I think there was an NFC championship game many years ago between the Rams and the Buccaneers. It was kind of like this, and you're just wondering, is either team ever going to score? It was an NFC championship game, and I think uh, the Rams beat them nine to nothing. Maplewood, first down and ten at the Panthers' nine-yard line. Boy, Tullahoma could use a turnover right here. Cats are going to need that a turnover in this short field yeah. to, to have a chance to score. They need a scoop and score. That's what we talked about. That it's almost like you sense that the special teams or defense is going to have to do it tonight. Hodges has a single setback as Sutherland. And there's a flag on the – no, it's a low snap picked up by Hodges. Pass out in the flat complete and out to the 17-yard line. Goes Maplewood's Jamonte Kennard, and it's a factory furniture first down. Ken, that was odd. It looked like everybody stopped. Yeah, it looked like everybody stopped in a low snap at that. Hodges gets the ball out quick to his receiver and gets a, gets a nice gain on first down. Spotted at the 19, a gain of 10, and the umpire says, I need a timeout here. I think they got to decide whether this is a first down or not. It is right at the marker. Yeah, they're going to measure. They're calling, on sti calling the sticks out, I believe. 8.08 to go, third quarter. Maplewood leads 6 to nothing. We have had six turnovers tonight. Four by Tullahoma and two by Maplewood. The only one that resulted in points was the first one by Tullahoma. Maplewood scored on a short field. It's been the only points of the night. The ball is spotted at the 18-yard line. I think it's going to be short of the first down. And it is by about the length of the football. So it will be second down, and we'll call it second and one at the 19. Again, the winner will be home next week in the fourth round of the playoffs, and that's a situation that alternates every year. Next year in the fourth round, the home field will be in quad one or in all odd number quads. This year, because it's an even year, 2018, the home field in the fourth round is in the even number quads, two and four. Heading forward. Maplewood lines it up. It is second and a very short one at the 19. Hodges splits two receivers right, one to the left, with a single setback. Here comes Tullahoma's run blitz. It's Samari Lane, and Lane cannot make the tackle. Sutherland breaks away to the 19. Again, it's going to be very close to the first down. Great call again 
by Telehoma, but Samari just could not wrap up David Sutherland, and I think he's got enough for the first down. Yeah, it looked like Tydrell Mitchell, number 57, finally brought him down, but uh, Telehoma had a chance to get him in the backfield. It is a first down and 10 Maplewood. We'll call it the 20-yard line with 7.46 to go in the third quarter. Pretty good crowd here for such a cold night here in Nashville. A lot of Tullahoma folks here. The Tullahoma pep band is here, not the full band. I don't know, it might be the full band, but they didn't march at halftime. Nobody did. The field is too wet. First and 10, Maplewood at the 20. 7.25 left to go in the third quarter. Panthers line it up. Two receivers to the right. Hodges pretty much gone the whole game from the shotgun. Low snap. Hodges picks it up. Here comes the pressure. Hodges breaks away from it. Rolls to the left. His pass is incomplete. A great defensive play by Jacoby Thomas got a hand on it. Yeah, nice play there by Thomas. He's telling them the defensive backs have been really incredible tonight. Oh, They're they really defending have. the ball well with their hands. Getting their hands up and knocking the passes away. So, uh, you know, Hodges really didn't do a whole lot passing, only missed a football finalist 62 yards passing in the first half. So that's uh, – and an interception, only seven for 19. So – Maplewood will tell him a defense has done his job. Absolutely. Bringing a fullback, slot him on the left side, and Hodges will pitch to Sutherland behind his fullback, and he is hit early and driven backwards. Sutherland got a yard, maybe two at the most, third and long for the Panthers. Fine play by Tullahoma. How about let's hold him right here and have a Jacoby Thomas punt return we touchdown. Need a punt. We How need about a special that? So much. A gain of one. Third down and nine at the 21. With 6.40 left to go, clock runs. Maplewood is huddling a lot more this week than they did three weeks ago. And they will split Smith to the right side and three receivers to the left, including Scurry, who's on the far side, single covered by Jacoby Thomas. Here comes Samari Lane on the blitz. Pass is incomplete, intended for Smith. It is fourth and nine for the Panthers. Well, with that ball been a little bit lower, Quentin, Quentin Howard was going to pick it off. He was going to score, it, too. He? Yeah, he was going to score, too, because he had a beat on that thing. Mm -hmm. Jumped that, that route. Up here. And there was nobody between him and the goal line. It's fourth down and nine, Maplewood at their 21. So in to punt again is Rashawn Dalton. And Jacoby Thomas stands at midfield. All right, Thomas, let's do it right here. One time, one play. Snap it over his head. That would work. Good snap. Gets it away. A high kick that will hit at the 45 and take a Maplewood bounce to the 50. Into Tullahoma territory to the 40. Five-yard line. Great field position for the Wildcats. A 34-yard punt. And more importantly, what we've seen, very, very minimal return yardage for the Tullahoma Wildcats tonight in the kicking game. Very, very they really minimal. Miss Kobe. They miss Kobe Burks being back there. Very minimal yardage, just period, mm -hmm. right? The biggest yardage Tullahoma's had has been interception yardage. Yeah. <laughs> and that's never a good thing. Yeah. And I don't mean defensively. At one Bryson Corn draw play run, that's a really highlight film play of the game for the offense. Tullahoma first and 10 at its 45, and it is Skyler Parker. Or Kyler Parker, my bad. Parker picks up a yard. And uh, it's second and nine. So Tullahoma doesn't seem to have another option, really, as far as Well, Tullahoma's bread and butter play offensively this year has been the toss sweep. So let's see if, uh, if we can get corn on the edges here, toss sweep right, toss sweep left here to get him going in the running game. I said Parker was a junior earlier. He is a sophomore, 5'6", 150. Two receivers left, two to the right. And Maplewood still sort of respecting the pass. And Parker's just going to pitch it to Corn. Corn around the right side gets driven out of bounds. 
and flips over the fence on the far sideline, all the way over the fence, comes back in. Yeah, there's just okay. not much room between the sidelines where the player's standing. There's a chain link fence on both sides, just within three or four yards of these guys. So not much room on the sidelines it, with that you wiping out on the fence. That's kind of what happened to Ben Fulton in the second quarter, which caused him to leave the game with an injury. Kinda. Uh, he was kind of shoved into it a little bit, wasn't he? Yeah, he really was. Way late. That so it's interesting, foul. and we'll just bring it up. It's interesting that we're not seeing Jacoby Thomas any at quarterback. Yeah, I, I figured, you know, give a spark. You know, with him back there, he is a threat. He's got a strong left arm. He can he's throw it, and not, he can, he's a dynamic athlete. Not touching the ball? No, not Here he comes in motion, there he is. and he gets the handoff. But that, they, they know when he comes yeah. in motion, he's getting the handoff. Mm. And so Thomas is slung back. He'll be yep. measured from the 47. He's holding his head. They slung him down the ground, helmet to the turf pretty hard there. A loss of two. And I think what might be factoring into it a little bit is the fact that he does such a good job. He's having to match up with Kendrell Scurry at that cornerback position on, on Using the star wide receiver. Yeah. Running down the field a lot. Yeah. Thomas runs off the field under his own power. Tillahoma will punt it. Fourth down and eight at the 47. With 4.35 left to go in the third quarter, Maplewood leads the Cats 6 to nothing here in a defensive just uh, struggle is the understatement. It's a slugfest defensively. Marin with a good snap. Gets the kick away. And it is caught at the 21 to the 25. And this is Sutherland, and there's a flag on the play as Sutherland is tackled at the 28-yard line. Yeah, Brian Nelms and uh, Cooper Lawson pair up to make that tackle there. And it looks like there's a flag on the field. You know, we don't count. We don't know about number of tackles and special teams. Right. But Cooper lost. I mean, every kick and punt that he's in there, is he not down there? He's around the football, isn't he? You know, he's some, even, some guys just, you know, like Bill Bates was at tense, they just find the football. He turned around and blocked, didn't he? Yeah, Cooper, Cooper will be a significant contributor to this Wildcat team next year on one or both sides of the ball. So the penalty is against Maplewood, an illegal block on the return. And that'll put it back at the, boy, the yard markers are getting really hard to see. They didn't paint the numbers or the yard stripes or anything on this field this week. It is rough looking. Spot it at the 17-yard line. Yeah, what an ironclad effort by this Wildcat defense tonight. I mean, he, you know, they've exceeded my expectations. I'm sure Wildcat Nation holding this high-powered Maplewood offense. And this third quarterback, Bobo Hodges, just to six points Hodges. thus far. Wants to throw it over the middle. It is almost mm. intercepted. Ty Cox got a hand on it, knocked it up in the air. Ken, that was yeah. one of those plays. If Tullahoma has somebody running that yeah. way, it's six. Now, we've seen Ty Cox have pick six before, so uh, he's another gentleman that's always around the football and puts himself in the middle of the plays wherever it is. So let's see if the Cats can crank up the pressure defensively and force Maplewood into a mistake. 4.06 to go in the third. Panthers lead it 6 to nothing. Second down and 10 at the 17-yard line. Hodges. Hodges is going to run it behind Sutherland. Hodges looks for the far end and really he got some of it. Picked up five, six, maybe seven yards. Yeah, he's tough on that edge. He's just so fast. Very fast. But they're coming back as if there's a flag on the play. So we'll, this sure, is, we'll sure take it if that's the case. Yeah, there is, a, we, there is a flag on the play. It looked like it's on the far mm -hmm. side where that play started, and holding. it's holding against mm -hmm. Maplewood. Take them back 10. We are begging them. Well, they get the down back, so that'll we make it second down again. But uh, so Tullahoma can ill afford to give up a first down here with long down the distance. They really got to shut them down right here. Second down and long coming. Because you just wonder how far this offense can drive the football, Scott. Absolutely. Second down and 20. Way to go. Eh, call it 19. The ball rests on the nine-yard line of Tullahoma, of Maplewood, my man. And the Panthers split two receivers to the right, one to the left. Second down and 20. 357 to go in the third quarter. Maplewood on top, six to nothing. Tullahoma trying to force a mistake here by this Panther offense. They forced two already. 
but have not been able to capitalize. And uh, Bobo Hodges will run it straight up the middle. Hodges got two or three yards before he's driven backwards. Doing a nice job holding on to that football. Well, that's exactly what Telama, Telama wants him to do is just run right up the middle. You'll, you'll, give, you'll let those take your chances there. Just keep Hodges off the edges. Third down and 17, Maplewood. Officials time out At the 12-yard line. Calling both teams together. I think there was some mouthing going on after that play between both teams and the referee saying, hey, you guys had 31 penalties here three weeks ago. We're not going to have this silly stuff tonight. Yeah, and nobody wants to have to sit out next right. week. So calm mm -hmm. down, play football, get the play over with. Had a pretty clean game so far except for the – one sideline hit on Fulton. Third down. Been pretty clean. 17-18 for Maplewood. At the 10-yard line. Third down and 17. I wish we were officiating crew. Yeah, I actually like that move by yeah, the too. officiating crew. That's the way to do it instead of let it get out of hand. Yeah, Throw a bunch of flags. Kick guys out. I agree. It's kind of like an umpire in baseball when a pitcher beans somebody. Hey, walk out there, get between them, calm it down before it escalates. Maplewood third down and 18 or so. Ball rest at the 10. 3-11 left to go, and there's a flag on the play. Delay a game against Maplewood. Well, Maplewood self-destructing here. Another delay of the game. That's going to cost them five more. They're backing up towards their goal line. We need to get good to safety. Third down and 22. The ball rests at the Maplewood six. Third and 22. Can Tullahoma force the critical mistake right here? Low snap. Hodges back to throw. He's just going to throw it long for Smith. That pass is incomplete. Well played by Quentin Howard. It was a jump ball, and Quentin and Smith jumped together and knocked it away. Yeah, you know, pass intended for number three, Mikael Smith, and so a nice play there by the Telema secondary. Beautiful pass out of the end zone there by Bobo Hodges. He threw that ball 50-plus yards in the air. Beautiful spiral. Put a lot of air time under it. Gave his, chance, his guy a chance to, uh, to catch the ball, but nice play there. Another deflection by the Tullahoma secondary. So now Tullahoma's going to, or Maplewood's going to punt it from their end zone and Jacoby Thomas is at the 40. Here's the spot. Yeah. Tullahoma's flipped the field yeah. position yeah. the entire third quarter and now they're in position you, you to do You can't let something. this ball bounce. you got to come up field and try to make a turn right. here. Thomas will catch it at the 35. Thomas waits for a blocker, breaks a move at the 30. 25-20. Thomas scampers out of bounds at the 15-yard line. It's a Tullahoma first down and 10. Well, that's what we're talking about. We need a big return in the, in the kicking game and punt game. We just got it from Jacoby Thomas. He fielded that ball in the air, did not let that one bounce. Good high kick. He came up, short punt, fielded it. Tullahoma was in business inside the 20-yard line here. It's at the 15, 2.47 wow. to go in the third. And that's what Tullahoma needed. Now, how do you muster out? Field goal doesn't help you really here. No. Uh, no, how do you get 15 yards? <laughs> how do you get 15 yards against this defense? And if you have some kind of gadget or misdirection play, maybe you pulled out, maybe a halfback pass or something. Unusual lineman. Who's this Peyton Howard in the backfield? Peyton Howard. Tullahoma has a box in the backfield. That's the way I know to explain it. A, a triple option box. Hand off Jacoby Thomas. And again, they slam him to the turf. Oh, he's, yeah. And Thomas slow to get up. Uh, that's just that's just not clean football. No, they've done that a couple times tackle. to him. Yeah, they, they slammed his head up back here just a couple plays back. Just make the tackle. You don't have to slam that. Yeah, his, he's going to tap out. He's had his head hit twice. Uh, okay. You don't you don't have to slam guys down to the turf. Right. Uh, that's not clean football. No, that's it's, not. It's well, and the referees are not calling the personal for the late hits right there. They're just letting him do it, letting them do it. It's Jacob Dixon who was in at running back, number 15 for Tullahoma, but he goes to the sideline. And a standard set now for the Wildcats with Bryson Corn. Second and 10 at the 15. And there's a flag on the play. 
and it's a delay game against Tullahoma. So you have a first and 15 after the excellent punt return by Jacoby Thomas. You have an unsuccessful run where your running back gets slammed rudely to the ground, and then you have a delay of the game. So now it's going to come back to the 20-yard line. So, oh, man. Second down and 15, Tullahoma at the Maplewood 20. The Panthers lead the Wildcats 6 to nothing with 1.52 to go in the third quarter. Tullahoma desperately. Looking for some offense. Jacoby Thomas still in the game. Yeah, maybe you, you send Jacoby Thomas to the goal post and throw him a, a ball and see if he can get Back to throw is Parker. Parker looks downfield, throws it in the end zone. Incomplete. Intended for Race Marin. He was actually at about the five. It was almost there. It's third down. Yeah, that pass thrown back across the grain, rolling out to his left. Parker throws it back over the middle. Dangerous pass. Marin jumped up high for it, showing his athleticism. Just tips, tips off his hands for incomplete pass. I got to ask. Matt Ross. Matt Ross. Invisible tonight. Well, he's Invisible. played great game on defense, yeah. but why is he running up and down the field? They're not going to throw it to him. He's got it right now. Parker, back to throw. Parker looks deep. Parker's pass is incomplete at Jake Hollinsworth. Wide open. And it gets away from Parker. It's fourth down. Yeah, it looked almost like the ball slipped. You talked about the wet footballs earlier. That ball just slipped out of his hands because Hollinsworth was open around the five-yard line on the Tullahoma sideline. So the ball, it, that pass goes errantly high right. Tullahoma is going to try a third. 38-yard field goal with Justice Chadwick. I'm not buying it. No, that's I'm not that's buying a long, it. Long, long kick. You know, Fulton is the regular holder. There's a snap. Kick is up. And that kick is short, no good. So with 1.30 left to go in the third quarter, Tullahoma trails Maplewood six to nothing, and the Panthers will take over at the 20. Missed opportunity. Put a big star by that. You got first and 15. Your defense. Well, that's such the, a special. That's the only job. opportunity. Yeah, so. first down from the 15-yard line on the great kick return. That was a break. By Jacoby Thomas in your offense. I don't think gains a yard. Yeah, it's interesting that uh, Matt Marcel has tried field goals throughout the season this year. And Chadwick in on that one. Maplewood first down and 10 at its 20 yard line. Panthers lead the Cats 6 to nothing. Let's go. Bobo Hodges. There's a flag on the play. It's going to be delay against Maplewood. Illegal substitution. Maplewood's got thir 12, 13 players out there. Boy, they've really been out of sorts in this second half with their penalties. They've been doomed by penalties in the second half, so they're going to keep moving backwards. First down and 15, Panthers at their 15-yard line. Hodges, empty backfield, four receivers to the right side. Somebody's uncovered. Hodges, wide receiver screen, complete at the 10. Breaks the tackle at the 10, but then brought down at the 13. Boy, Tullahoma was inches yeah. from picking that ball off. Yeah, the defense playing just lights out tonight down up here in Maplewood. And uh, round three, TSS AA action, the semifinals, Class 4A, one of the last final eight teams left in the state in Class 4A. Uh, Trying to take the next step. At the 15, no gain. Second down and 15, Maplewood. With 50 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Panthers up by six. Hodges, low snap. Hodges is on the loose. Here comes Tullahoma's pressure. That's incomplete. That's got to be intentional grounding. Was he in the end zone? Was he in the end zone? He was close. Is the question. The flag is down. There was not a receiver within 20 yards. Was he in the end zone? They're going to talk about it. Tullahoma with three safeties on the season. Could this be the four? It's all the way across the field. We don't know where he released that ball from. Here's the call. The call is intentional grounding against Maplewood. 
number four. Safety. It is a safety for Tullahoma, and we've got a 6-2 ball game. <laughs> hey, that's a baseball score, man, 6-2. Bottom of the seventh. Well, that ain't bad, y'all. The shutout is averted, so uh, so Ty Cox and Samari Lane giving chase there to Bobo Hodges. Uh, play a really similar to what we saw last week, although the ball didn't go all the way out to the track. It uh, landed in play out in no man's land. No receiver for Maplewood out there, so an easy call for the referee to make, and I think the right call right there. Maple so, you know, tell them we're back in this thing. Well, Maplewood now has a free kick from the 20-yard line, so Tullahoma's going to get the football with 41 seconds to play in the third quarter. The Cats trail the Panthers 6-2. to two. Well, let's see if this adds some juice to the Tellum offense. Now they have a chance to uh, really take take control of this game right here. Touchdown, two point conversion, or touchdown and an extra point would put them up by field goal here. Unbelievably enough. Jacoby Thomas and Quentin Howard will be deep to return this. Maplewood shows they're going to kick it off. Always got to watch surprise, the onside kick. You surprised kick with the kickoff versus a punt here? Uh, yeah, he's been punt. He punts, yeah. I think, better than he kicks. We'll see here. It is a great kick. Oh, great yeah. kick. It's a live football caught at the 25 by Jacoby Thomas, 30. Thomas to the 35, 40. Thomas makes a move. Is popped at the 43-yard mm. line. Another Tullahoma. Shot. Here comes extracurriculars, and Tullahoma gets everybody off the field. Great field position at the 43, down 6-2. Back-to-back nice returns by Jacoby Thomas. I love what he offers in the return game. He is a dynamic athlete, and uh, big things to come from this young man the next two years. Tullahoma now down 6-2. Great defensive series last time for Tullahoma. They get a, they get a penalty. On Maplewood, and then a safety on the Bobo Hodges pass out of the end zone to note to a ghost. 30 seconds left to play, third quarter. Tullahoma first down and 10 at the Wildcat 43. Two receivers to the left, two running backs on either side of Kyler Parker. It's Bryson Corn. Corn trying to break a tackle, and he can't. Corn is dropped for a loss back at the 40-yard line, a loss of three. Maplewood just swarmed that play over. Well, they're 11-1 and one for a reason. They're the region 4-4A champs for a reason. You got it. They are really, they, really good. And they pursue the ball so good, so well, and they gang tackle. Really so good defense. Rugged defense. Rugged, rugged defense. Tillahoma's Caden Bradford comes off the field, and the third quarter has come to a close. Twelve minutes left to decide this playoff contest. Maplewood 6, Tullahoma 2, back in one minute. How much do you know about insurance? Are you ready for some football? Are you ready for cool days and cold nights? We're here warming up to serve our community. Stroopsacket Refrigeration would like to congratulate the 2019 class of Tullahoma. Go Cats! Yeah! Rodney's Body Shop was voted Never's Choice Small Business of the Year by the Tullahoma Area Chamber of Commerce for 2016, and we work daily to earn that award from every one of our customers. We specialize in using the most current technology available, including environmentally friendly waterborne paint. We work with all insurance companies and will gladly help you with any insurance claims or questions you may have. Call us at 931-455-2570 or come by our new office located at 606 South Jefferson Street. Be sure to look for the bright red door. Listen up, weekend warriors. Builder Supply has everything you need to knock out that home improvement project. From lumber and roofing to windows, doors, trims, or stair parts, Builder Supply has it all. Repainting a couple bedrooms? Builder Supply is your authorized Ben Moore and Porter Paints retailer. In business since 1922, Builder Supply offers quality personal service and over 100 years of experience. So before you tackle your next weekend project, stop by Builder Supply, 301 Southeast Atlantic Street in Tullahoma. For Wildcat football, the Rooster 101.5. Tyler Parker pitches it back to Bryson Corn, and Corn. 
for the second consecutive play, uh, there's a loss on the play. They tried to sweep it to the left side. Corn lost four. So Tullahoma now looking at third down and 17 at their 36-yard line. Just underway here in the fourth quarter. Maplewood leads the Cats 6-2. to two. The winner hosts Greenville next week for a chance to play for a state championship. And it's an eye formation for the Wildcats with Parker pitching to Corn again on the toss sweep and Corn loses another couple of yards. They're, they're not giving us anything on that one, Ken. No, no, that's two, two straight toss sweeps left. Just got blown up there by the defensive defensive end for Maplewood. So unless Tullahoma can come up with some sort of different offensive plan, I don't see how the Wildcats score here. No, they're about to score a defensive touchdown. Race Marin to punt for the Wildcats. Punt will be measured from the 35 with 10.40 left to play. Snap. Clock is running. Marin's punt is a low line drive that is bobbled and then picked up at the 35, 40, 45. And out to the 46 yard line goes Maplewood's return man. I think we are going to have a face mask. It was pretty obvious. Maplewood's going to have excellent field position here. Hmm. The tackle was made at the 46, but I would not be surprised if they don't tack 15 more yeah. on here. Maybe five. I mean, it was quick. But it was definite face mask uh, infraction. Yeah. It's going to be a free five. You can't get away with a whole lot in front of these officials. So, so okay. It is a personal foul mm. face mask against Tullahoma. So that's huge as that will give Maplewood the ball all the way down to about the Tullahoma 40. Yeah, we don't have replay up here tonight. But normally uh, the referee, if the head turns, they'll call it the 15 variety. If you just simply put your hand on the mask and touch it or grab it and turn it loose, then it's five. But I think the head may have turned a little bit on that one. Spot the ball at the Tullahoma 39-yard line. Critical penalty nonetheless. Maplewood has it. First down and 10 with 10-22 left to go. Panthers lead the Cats 6-2, and we've got an official's timeout. Uh, so we're moving along at a little bit of a brisk pace, and they just couldn't stand it. <laughs> Next week, too brisk. we might be at Wilkins Stadium for 7 o'clock kickoff between Tullahoma and Greenville in the semifinals. Or Maplewood might be here hosting Greenville. Winner. Winner keeps playing. Is there a final score of that game? Spotted at the 39-yard line. And Bobo Hodges. All right, Bobo. From the shotgun, high snap. Hodges pulls it down. Hodges eludes one defender, and Hodges is now on the loose. 40. No Hodges breaks the tackle. 35. Hodges to the 30, mm. and he's pushed out of bounds at the 28-yard line. A gain of 11 for Bobo Hodges. Well, that's one thing we talked about. That was our, our second Stroops tools to victory was limit Bobo Hodges' creativity. We had him say a high snap. He goes up with one hand, shows his athleticism, catches the ball, and just scrambles out of the pocket for a huge game. Tell them I had him crowd. The Wildcats are going to have to force a turnover here soon. Our time's going to run out. 10-11 left to go. 6-2 Maplewood. Let's go. Panthers first down and 10 at the Tullahoma 27-yard line. Hodges splits three receivers to the right side, pitches it to Sutherland that way, and Ty Cox says, you know what, I just don't think that's going to work for you. Sutherland dropped behind the line of scrimmage by the senior Ty Cox. Yeah, I was listening to early this morning, about 2 o'clock this morning, uh, to Mike Mulder's interview with John Olive. And, it, and Coach Olive stated the fact that I had no clue uh, regarding Ty Cox. He said that Cox at one time this year during the season led the state in tackles for loss, Scott. I believe it. It's been a great, great player for the Wildcats. Second down and 13 Maplewood at the Tullahoma 30. Can Tullahoma come up with another stand deep in their own territory? Three receivers split to the left. Hodges wants to throw back that way. That pass incomplete intended 
out there for Kendrell Scurry. And Scurry just, well, Jacoby Thomas has shut him down. Yeah, he has. Yeah, twos on twos, and uh, uh, Scurry kind of slipped a little bit on the turf there, but uh, that takes a little timing pass right there, that little little Third. slant. You got to be perfect with the with the pass and accuracy. Third down and 13, Maplewood at the Tullahoma 30. Can we do it again? 20 left to go. One more time, Scott. Can we do it again? Yeah, they're going to go Come forward on, on fourth, so yeah. you got to do it two, two more. Two downs, yeah. Tullahoma just needs to force that turnover. Boy, our defense has been on the field a long time. The whole now. game. Man, Three whole receivers game. to the left. Sutherland to the left of Hodges. Hodges straight drop. Hodges, here comes Cox. Hodges throws it into the end zone. It is incomplete. Intended for Jamonte Kennard, and it's fourth down. Fourth and 14, Maplewood at the 31-yard line. 9-12 left to go. And the Tigers, Tullahoma can pin their ears back and come after Bobo Hodges. I think Maplewood's going to consider punting this football, Ken. Yeah, it looks like they are. I don't know if I'm buying it. Fourth down and 13 at the Tullahoma 30-yard line. Right, if I'm Tullahoma, I'm definitely playing punt safe. Watch the fake right here, punt safe. I don't know if I even send anybody back deep on this one. Jacoby Thomas is back, standing on the 10-yard line. Punt will be measured from the 30. Not, not a bad kick. And now Maplewood takes the penalty. They don't mind. They want a little bit more room. That was on purpose. So I don't understand why. Can you not decline a delay of game penalty? Is that an undeclinable penalty? Um, because you never you see can, You can decline it. You yes, never they see did. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Why would you take that penalty? It doesn't help you any. Yeah, Tullahoma does decline. And they do decline it. Yeah. So thank you. Good point. Although they put it at the 31. 31. Yeah, not so sure they put it back where not they was so supposed sure to they put it. it back where it started. <laughs> it is fourth oh down boy. now and 14. Maybe 15. So what kind of kick? There's a snap. Scurry gets uh, the kick is away. Jacoby Thomas doesn't move. And I think it bounces, yes, oh, very into the end zone. So Tullahoma will have it first down and 10 at its own 20. 9.03 left to go. Can the Wildcats come up with something offensively to create some yardage? What's that old play that the Nebraska Cornhuskers did where they acted like they snapped the ball, everybody moved, and the lineman came, picked the ball up, and just run down the fumble Ruski. Fumble Ruski. I think it's time for fumble Ruski. That might be the only way we can what. score. That was, uh, let, I'm serious. Let me <laughs> say this serious, all right? There's nine minutes left to go in your season. Anything you've got, Ben exactly. Fulton is back in the game at quarterback. Fulton at quarterback for Tullahoma. Three receivers to the left. Fulton, straight drop. Fulton, get rid of the ball. Ben's going to run it. Ben to the 25. Ben to the 30. Ben's out of bounds, and he's hit out of bounds again. But no flag this time. Not, and there's the flag. I hope they didn't call that on Brian Nims. Oh, I don't know about that. So Ben Fulton carries it. From the 20 they hit us, and I think one of our guys mouthed the, them. Let's oh, see. All right. All right. Uh, out to the 34 yard line. So that was a gain of 14 for Fulton. Would have been would be a factory furniture first down, but I think it could be go against Tullahoma here. It is a pers uh, unsportsmanlike conduct against Tullahoma. That is a killer. Just a killer penalty. Obviously something was said on the sidelines. So did, so did they get the first down though? No. Yes, the first down was gotten. They will mark off the 15 yards. Well, that's very disheartening right there. It's kind of like Maplewood shoved Fulton out of bounds. He comes back from injury after getting knocked out in the second quarter. His first play back in, he makes a first down scramble, gets popped, and then I tell all my players, says something, just something verbal to uh, – the Maplewood player in front of the ref to drop a silly 15-yard penalty. Well, now the officials have got a visit with the head coaches, and we get one of these five-minute delays as yep. the penalty will be marked mm -hmm. off. And John Olive is livid. Olive livid on the far oh, sidelines there. Mark it back to the 20-yard line. 
Tullahoma will have it first down and 10 at the Tullahoma 20. Well, I'm exasperated up here. I'm just yeah, I'm gonna need frustrated. You to stay in the game so here, I got to stay in the game. We got a job I can't imagine what the coaches, how the coaches feel after that play. Just nonsense, whimsical call right there. But Ben Fulton is back at quarterback. So all options are on the table here for Tullahoma. Brian Nelms is the tailback. Three receivers split to the left, tight end right. Matt Ross over the middle, Matt Ross over the middle. Fulton back to throw. Here comes the pressure. Fulton's going to have to run it again, and Ben wisely goes down a loss of maybe a yard. Can't take any more hits if you're Ben Fulton. No. you got to stay on the field. No, we got to have his arm and his vertical threat. So a loss of one, second and 11 at the 19. You've got to watch out right now if you're Tullahoma for – 8.25 left to go. 6-2 Maplewood. Cats, second and 11. Full back to throw. And there's a flag on the play. Illegal procedure, Tullahoma. you got to be aware for number six, T.J. Springer with seven interceptions on the season. He's a bandit back there. Well, the thing that has killed Tullahoma for the last three or four weeks is now killing the Cats maybe for the last time, and that's penalties. Tullahoma 20 yards in penalties here on this possession, down 6-2 in a quarterfinal playoff game. Every opportunity, it's right there in front of you, 20 yards in penalties already. Yep. <coughs> Unbelievable and unacceptable. Clock ticks under eight minutes. Marin wide to the left. Thomas slotted to the right. Fulton to throw. Unblocked players coming in. Here comes the pressure pass incomplete. Almost picked off. And it's fourth down. Uh, nice uh, third coverage down. there on by number 22, Ricky Harvell, the free safety senior on that play. Third down and 16, Tullahoma at its 14-yard line. Wildcats receivers, Ken, can just get no spa I still don't think yeah. we've we haven't completed a pass, have we? Was there a screen in there somewhere? Or I can't something? remember one. <laughs> I really don't either. I cannot remember. Well, those little shuffle passes. When a couple of shuffle yeah. passes. Yeah, that's it. True story. Nothing down the field. Third down and 16 at the 14. 7.43 to go. Panthers lead at 6-2. I, I, I don't think Ross and Marin have a catch, either one of them. 6-2. to two. Matt Ross over the middle. And... Uh, Tullahoma needs a timeout. 7.43 to go. 6-2 Panthers. It's a Rogers insurance timeout. Looking Wood Family Dentistry understands you never get a second chance to make a good first impression. And your smile is an important. Insurance, as you know about a zone read, do you know exactly what it takes to make sure that your home, car, life, and your rival's new wide receiver are all adequately covered? How much insurance to buy? What deductibles are best? Do you run it straight up the middle or go with the play action pass and then how do you put it all together don't be an armchair quarterback you need to make the call to rogers insurance your local independent insurance agent to help coach you through your insurance buying decisions your community matters so does making sure it's well protected because sally's isn't just a cafe and smith's isn't just a flower shop it's years of hard work and investment hey new equipment looks great and in this moment you realize your independent auto owner's insurance agent is the right person to protect it. Auto owner's insurance. Whether your vehicle is 20,000 miles or 200,000 miles, you'll get honest answers at North Jackson Tire and Auto Service. Miss Honey and Jonathan greet you with a smile and explain everything in a language you'll understand. Offering bumper-to-bumper -bumper vehicle repairs from brakes, exhaust, shocks, struts, and more. Oil changes from $24.95. Tires from Goodyear, Kumho, General, and Yokohama. Get your vehicle treated the way you want to be treated. North Jackson Tire and Auto Services. Family-owned, 2009 North Jackson Street, Tullahoma. 
the Rooster 101.5. You know, as I said last week, the officials tend to lose focus toward the end of the game. <laughs> We've got a flag on the field. Telehoma called a timeout and then didn't call a timeout. So the Wildcats will take a delay of game penalty, their third penalty of this drive. 25 yards Telehoma has given up in penalties on this drive. Yeah. And it is... Third and 21 at the nine. So look at look at the uh, Maplewood defenders are giving the safety sign to each other. They want to try to get a safety right here on Telehoma. 7.43 to go. <laughs> Wildcats in desperation mode. Don't you have that one super trick play? If you do, run it. Instead, we hand it off to Bryson Corn, and Corn goes straight up the middle. Corn gets out over the 10 to about the 14 yard line. Yeah, a little trial play there, so Tillman's got to punt here on fourth down. It's right call, 7.28 to go. Cats are going to have to force. Yeah, they might get the ball one more time. Might get it one more time, but you're right. Yeah. It don't, we don't need the ball. Yeah. We need to score. We, we're going to have to score on defense to win this game. That's all there is mm -hmm. to it. Race Marin to punt it, standing at the goal line. 7.05 left to go. Maplewood leads by four. It's a high snap. Marin gets it down, gets a high kick away. Marin hits the ground, and there's no flag. Yeah, they dropped there it out. Is a flag. down. The, the ball rolls to midfield. It is down by Kyler Parker. And uh, <laughs> let's see what the call is against Maplewood. Why would we rush into down with? Is it enough for the first down? It was four. It's an automatic first down if yes, it's a personal it foul. It's an automatic first down. That's exactly right. So it is going to be. We haven't gotten the official call yet. It's going to be roughing the kicker against Maplewood. Personal foul, roughing the kicker against Maplewood. Telehoma's going to have it. First down. Kim, we needed a semi miracle. That could be. Yeah, you're right. That was a semi miracle. And you know, really, what forced the contact was the high snap because I don't think they would ever come after him, you know, like that if it had not the snap been so high. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. So after the roughing the kicker penalty, Tullahoma is going to have it first down and 10 at its 19, at its 29-yard line. And quarterback Ben Fulton limps back out on the field here. Let's see if he can be a hero. 644 to go. Cats need a touchdown. Field goal does not help. Hollinsworth and Marin and Thomas wide to the right. Tullahoma has passing game has just been non-existent. Here's a handoff, Jacoby Thomas. They read it all the way. Huge loss on the play. No blocking whatsoever. He lost the football, but he was on the ground. Yeah, forward progress. And, and let's see where they're going to spot it. I think at the 24-yard line, a loss of about five. And that, that is just not going to work. No. It hadn't worked all night. It's not working now. Now, maybe run wide to this side because that right defensive end has choked us out all night long over there. I mean, all I've got is a so the ball will be spotted at the 24. 25. It's a loss of five on the play. It is second down and 15, Tullahoma. And these DBs are so good at man-to-man -man coverage, they just blanket you. So yep. who, who can who can wiggle open here? And Ben's going to have to make a tight throw in space to somebody. Or throw it up. Hope for a penalty. Yep. I mean, you need a miracle here. Thomas in motion. Fulton to throw. There it is. He's got the man open. The pass is complete at the 45-yard line. Out to the 47. Jake Hollinsworth. It's a factory furniture. First down in 10. Boy, he hauls it in. Great pitch and catch right there. Jay Collinsworth, number 20, hauls it in. Tell him what is he doing? First downfield completion of the game. So the, maybe that gets things going here. 5.27 to go. 24 yards, the biggest play of the game for the Tullahoma Wildcats. They have it at the 48-yard line. 5.27 to go. Maplewood leads 6-2. to two. Hollinsworth and Thomas wide right. Nobody's wide, really. They're split to the right. Fulton, straight drop. Good time. Get rid of it. Fulton does complete at midfield, and 
Marin is dropped immediately, a gain of three yards on the play. That was immediately. These guys are thumpers back here in the secondary. That tackle by number 25, strong safety, Charles Alexander, 5'9", 170-pound senior. Marin went down immediately, but a gain of four yards, three or four yards here. Yeah, let's call it three. It is second down and seven, Tullahoma, at the Maplewood 49. Clock running, 4.55 left to go. Maplewood leads Tullahoma six to two. I tell you, this is all you could ask for if you were Tullahoma. It is. You get the fourth quarter, last five minutes, yep. you're down by four points, you got the football. If you, I would have took that from the very beginning of the game. And that's what we said in our Stroops Tools to Victory. And Make Tullahoma's going to call game. it another timeout. Well, that's a tough time to use it. 4.34 to go, 6-2 Maplewood. It's a Rogers insurance timeout. Are you ready for some? Do you know as much about insurance as you know about a zone read? Do you know exactly what it takes to make sure that your home, car, life, and your rival's new wide receiver are all adequately covered? How much insurance to buy? What deductibles are best? Do you run it straight up the middle or go with the play action pass? And then how do you put it all together? Don't be an armchair quarterback. You need to make the call to Rogers Insurance, your local independent insurance agent, to help coach you through your insurance buying decisions. Rodney's Body Shop was voted Never's Choice Small Business of the Year by the Tullahoma Area Chamber of Commerce for 2016, and we work daily to earn that award from every one of our customers. We specialize in using the most current technology available, including environmentally friendly waterborne paint. We work with all insurance companies and will gladly help you with any insurance claims or questions you may have. Call us at 931-455-2570 or come by our new office located at 606 South Jefferson Street. Be sure to look for the bright red door. Glickenwood's Family Dentistry understands you never get a second chance to make a good first impression. And your smile is an important part of that impression. That's why they put together the most experienced, friendly, and professional staff. Add to that the most sophisticated diagnostic and treatment technology available. The result is a winning smile so powerful you could break ice with it. Visit the smile experts at Glickenwood's Family Dentistry and let your smile be the first thing people notice about you. Glickenwood's Family Dentistry. Glickenwood's.com. This is the Rooster 1015. Welcome back to Maplewood High School, Black Cat Stadium, they call it. And the Tullahoma Wildcats and the Maplewood Panthers have put on quite a show here. As uh, this has just been an unforgettable game. Final scores, Class 6A. Maryville beat Farragut 26-10. Oakland beat Mount Juliet 14-7. Tullahoma, second down and seven at midfield. Ben Fulton has three receivers left, two to the right. Nelms comes in motion. Here comes the pressure. Screen pass complete, but tackled immediately. Great defensive job. Matt Ross tackled on the play. It's third down. That's Matt Ross's first catch of the game. So we're down to 421 clock ticks. They read that all. Yeah, tell them was going to have to push the ball down the field now. 50 yard line, two timeouts left. This stingy defense, Maplewood giving up only 10 points in two playoff games, two tonight. Eight on the season to the Wildcats. Tullahoma splits three receivers to the left, one to the right. Ben Fulton takes the snap. Ben Fulton being pressured. Ben Fulton's going to have to run the ball out of bounds, and he does. It's fourth and seven, Tullahoma. Well, that was a good decision by Ben right there. Just a jailbreak the offensive line. They're just front seven is just standing up. They're not even getting down in three-point stance. They're standing up and just shooting these gaps and coming right after the quarterback. They know what's coming, and Tullahoma knows what's coming. So what's going to be different on this play? Is this fourth down? Yep. Fourth and eight. No, fourth down and seven. Seven. Fourth and seven. Three forty-seven to go. The ball rests at the Maplewood forty-nine yard line. I think you've got to drag. Uh, I mean, drag, this has got to be drag your play. Your drag your tight end across the middle here. This has got to be the best play yep. you've got. This should be like a triple reverse Statue of Liberty flea flicker. Fulton rolls to his left. Fulton is sacked. Slung to the ground back at the 43-yard line. Maplewood takes over on down. So can Maplewood run out the clock here? We'll see. Was uh, was Corn in there on that play? No. 
You know, three, maybe, maybe a little screen pass to Corn would have been good, but he wasn't even in the game. So, Corn, we've not seen uh, Kobe Burks this second half, the entire second half, have we? Maplewood has it first down and 10 at the Tullahoma 43 yard line, 340 left to go. The Panthers just need to run three minutes and 40 seconds. Tullahoma has two timeouts. I think they really – didn't they just use two? No, they used one. So, what you mean, the, remember the one they got kind of delay of the game before they called so it. So, Maplewood lines up in a power eye, hands it to Sutherland, and Sutherland lost two on the play, and Tullahoma will call a quick timeout, I would assume. I think they're going to wait with two. They, they'll call it after the next two plays. All right. Sutherland lost a couple of yards. It's back to the 40-yard line, second down – or 45, second down and 12. So if you can hold them right here, you can get the ball back one more time. Yeah, I don't want I, – I mean, you've said it the whole game, and yeah. we've done it once. We've got to score on defense. The offense is not scoring. How about a strip six right here by Ty Cox? Gotta just need an improbable mistake by Maplewood here. Clint Second Sterner down, did it. Bobo Hodges can do Second it. Second down and 12 at the Tullahoma 45. Hodges, Sutherland. Sutherland's got a lot of room, and he is tripped up at the 30. Seven yard line by Quentin Howard. Boy, 52 about got back there on that play and blew it up in the backfield. But a fantastic tackle by Quentin Howard. He Sutherland was running for first down and he just put his helmet down on his ankles and chopped him down. So it's going to be third down and, and three or four. They're going to go two down territory here to run the clock. Tell them we're still not using timeouts. Nope. Figured they'd call one right there. Got two in the pocket. Bobo Hodges. In the shotgun with three receivers to the left. Tullahoma shows blitz, now backs off. Hodges calls timeout. Are they going to give it to him? Are they going to give it to him? Evidently not. Now they do. 2.05 left to go in this football game. Maplewood 6, Tullahoma 2. It's a Rogers insurance timeout. You're good to go, Graham. Listen up, weekend warriors. Builder Supply has everything you need to knock out that home improvement project. From lumber and roofing to windows, doors, trims, or stair parts, Builder Supply has it all. Repainting a couple bedrooms? Builder Supply is your authorized Ben Moore and Porter Paints retailer. In business since 1922, Builder Supply offers quality personal service and over 100 years of experience. So before you tackle your next weekend project, stop by Builder Supply, 301 Southeast Atlantic Street in Tullahoma. Stan McNabb Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Chrysler, Dodge, and Jeep has been serving the Middle Tennessee area for over two decades. Since the very beginning, Stan McNabb has believed in putting their customers and employees first and doing what they can to help make our cities a better place. Stan McNabb Chevy, Cadillac, Buick, GMC, located at 2000 North Jackson Street, and Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram at 1200 East Carroll Street in Tullahoma. The tradition, part of what makes the Tullahoma Wildcats so much fun to root for. We are T-Town Strong, Wildcats at work in the pride of the Tullahoma High School Marching Band. Consequently, that's also what makes shopping at Clayton Shoes so great. Sure, they have a huge selection, including New Balance, Dansko, Merrill, SAS, and more. But it's the tradition that makes shopping at Clayton's a win. Clayton's Family Shoe Store, downtown Tullahoma. Serving the area for over 100 years with service, quality, and fit. Proud supporter of Tullahoma. Tullahoma Athletics. This is Tullahoma Football, presented by Stan McNabb, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Fiat. Football! On the Rooster 101.5. High school in Nashville, Tennessee. Along with Ken Keller, I'm Scott Shasteen. Tullahoma and Maplewood. 2.05 to go. Maplewood leads at 6-2. Third down and three. Maplewood at the Tullahoma 37-yard line. Bobo Hodges takes the snap. Bobo Hodges runs it into the middle of the line. Bobo Hodges is stopped short of the first down. It's fourth down for the Panthers. It looks like they gave him a good spot, doesn't it? They need to get your time out here. They're not calling time. Bobo's forward progress is measured to the 35, a gain of two, fourth down and one at the 35. I didn't Tullahoma, think you got that far, Scott. I know you did. Tullahoma. Timeout, Tullahoma. They show timeout, Tullahoma. What are the Cats doing? Timeout, Tullahoma. 140 to go, 6-2, Maplewood. It's a Rogers Insurance timeout. Are you ready for some football? 
Are you ready for cool days and cold nights? We're here warming up to serve our community. Stroop Jacket Refrigeration would like to congratulate the 2019 class of Tullahoma. Go Cats! Yeah! Ah, oh, Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Okay, you okay? Are you dreaming about a Jeep? Come to the Truck Stop of the South, Russell Barnett, Crossroad Dodge Jeep Ram on Deckard Boulevard in Winchester, the area's only full line business link dealer. Football season is here and fall is not far behind. And with these fall gatherings come special occasions, anniversaries, birthdays, first dates, and before you know it, the Christmas holiday season is upon us. At Giles Dunn Diamond Company, we offer a great selection of fine, fashionable jewelry, as well as great selection of engagement rings and, of course, diamonds. We offer one-of-a-kind custom-made jewelry for every occasion. Great products and great values guaranteed at Giles Dunn Diamond Company, located on North Jackson Street in Tullahoma. This is Tullahoma Football, presented by Stan McNabb, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Fiat. On the Rooster, 101.5. Greenville beat Maple, uh, Anderson County, 42-21. Greenville will play the winner of this game next week. Here it is. This is your ball game. Fourth down and one, Maplewood. Two minutes, 145 left to go. Hodges takes a snap. Hodges, I don't know, it was fourth in a yard and a half, Ken. He may have got a yard and a half. I don't know. Uh, we need a left-footed spot right here. It's all going to be about the spot, yeah. and they'll stop the clock to make the spot. I think he's short. I think Tellama held him here. Well, the Cats are certainly going to tell us that, th that he's short, but we'll see. 139 to go. I'm going to have to measure that. Oh, it's close. And uh, it's, it's, it's come down to the wire. Ever, look, ever how this turns out. What a great season by the Tullahoma Wildcats, and what a great effort. Two different times on this field in the last month by this Tullahoma football team. Maplewood favored both times, no question about yep. it. The chains are being brought. The chain game. The chains stretch are being it out. stretched. Stretch it. And the stretch chains it. show that it is first down for the Cats. Tullahoma still alive with 139 to go. <laughs> Barely clinging. All right, I'll say it again. Barely clinging. And I've said it before. And look, we, we may have <laughs> shot every bullet we've got in the gun. But if you've got any, yeah. any sort of thing, you got to get the ball in the hands of somebody who can run. Got to throw it up for grabs. Kitchen sinks, Something. bathroom sinks, half bath sinks, whatever sink you got, pull it out right here. Ben Fulton limps onto the field, the junior. But trying to lead the Wildcats to a state semifinal. Tullahoma first down and 10 at the 34. A minute 39 seconds left to go. Two receivers to the left, two to the right. Full. And we've got a timeout on the field, Maplewood. We'll keep it here, Ken. Uh, you know, again, because I know how this is. The game will be over. It'll get away yeah. from us. Yeah. Um, man, what a, this has been like a Herculean effort by this Tullahoma defense. Yeah, Maplewood scores points at yeah. an amazing rate. And special teams for Tullahoma has been pretty good, too. We've had a couple good returns in the game by Jacoby Thomas. Uh, haven't given up any really big returns. The punting's been pretty good. We missed a one long field goal, but it was a long field goal in tough conditions. Would not have really made a difference in the score. Yep. And, and that was really the drive that cost Tullahoma. Uh, was they were deep in Maplewood territory and sort of went backwards and had to try that field goal and didn't make it. Turned around and got the safety sort of out of the on the yeah. back side of that. But well, you look at this drive right here. You see, you know, Kobe Burks over there limping around the sidelines. You know, he wants to be in the game so bad. Same thing with Bryson Corn. We got to do it without our best two offensive players. First down and ten. Cats. Fulton 
Going to hand it off on a draw play to Jacob Dixon, and the freshman is dropped for a loss of eight yards. Draw play is not going to work this time of the game. Not with the freshman against these seniors. Well, not with the clock situation like it is. Field goal don't help you. You've got to go 70 yards. Loss of six, second down and 16, Tullahoma at the 28. Fulton to throw. Fulton's going to throw it to Hollinsworth incomplete. It's third down. Pass incomplete. Third down coming. But Tullahoma just doesn't have an answer offensively. We, we keep calling for the answer, and there isn't one. They don't have one. With 109 to go, it's third down. They've got their middle linebacker. He's just sitting in the middle of the field, number eight. He's just dropping 10 or 15 yards back in the middle, so he's taking away our middle from us. These and, guys are good cover guys. And for years, up. that's what Tullahoma's done in these situations, over the middle. Yep. Three receivers to the right. Fulton, back to throw. Here comes pressure. Now he's got a little time. Stitch your foot. Throw it over the middle for Matt Ross. It is incomplete. It's fourth down. No flags on the play. Threw that ball into some congestion out there. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. It just floated the ball up. And Good play by Maple Matt Wood to got knock it away, really. Sure was. There were three Maplewood defenders there. It's come down to one play for Tullahoma in this one minute exactly to go. Fourth down. Season hinges on his play. Tullahoma only has one timeout, so they're not going to be able to stop the clock. If they don't get this first down, Maplewood's going to win. So Jacob Dixon ran it on first down. We've had two incomplete passes. And the st there we go. Now they move it to fourth. So this is it. Fourth down and 16, Tullahoma, at the 28-yard line. Fulton to throw. Just throw it up. There you go. That pass intended for Jacoby Thomas is incomplete. Far over his head and out of bounds. And Maplewood will take over. Gather yourselves, Tullahoma fans. It's over. 53 seconds left to go. Maplewood will have it. First down and 10 at the Tullahoma 28. Our team's going to finish 10 and 3 with two losses to these Maplewood Panthers on their home field. And it takes you back to that year, yep. 2010, where the same thing happened in Columbia. Yeah. Well, tell them it loses the first game of the year, runs off an eight-game win streak, comes here the last game of the season, 8-1, loses the 4-4A championship, 14-6. Gave a valiant effort again defensively. Offense just could not mount any kind of serious threat at all. If we had a first and fifth, first down on the 15-yard line after that punt return in the third quarter by Jacoby Thomas. To me, that was the key series of the game. We couldn't push it in from 15 yards out. Maplewood lines it up in the victory formation. The Maplewood Panthers will move to 12 and one on the season. They will advance to the semifinals of the TWSAA Class 4A playoffs. And Maplewood will host Greenville next Friday night at 7 o'clock. For Tullahoma's tremendous 20-man strong senior class, Ken, they came from back-to-back -back winless seasons. This senior class lost 20 games in a row as freshmen and sophomores. And now here they are advancing to the third round of the playoffs. Well, they exemplified hard guts, togetherness, teamwork all year, well-coached team. Made some penalties in key situation, had four turnovers, but only gave up six points. Give credit to Maplewood. They are going to the semifinals. Stay tuned for the Glickenwoods post-game show here from Maplewood High School, where our own smash will talk with John Olive about this uh, defeat. The Glickenwoods post-game show is next. Your final from Maplewood High School, the Maplewood Panthers 6, the Tullahoma Wildcats 2, back in just one minute. Glickenwoods Family Dentistry understands you never get a second chance to make a good first impression, and your smile is an important part of that impression.
fashion. That's why they put together the most experienced, friendly, and professional staff. Add to that the most sophisticated diagnostic and treatment technology available. The result is a winning smile so powerful you could break ice with it. Visit the smile experts at Glickenwoods Family Dentistry and let your smile be the first thing people notice about you. Glickenwoods Family Dentistry. Glickenwoods.com. Rodney's Body Shop was voted Never's Choice Small Business of the Year by the Tullahoma Area Chamber of Commerce for 2016. And we work daily to earn that award from every one of our customers. We specialize in using the most current technology available, including environmentally friendly waterborne paint. We work with all insurance companies and we'll gladly help you with any insurance claims or questions you may have. Call us at 931-455-2570 or come by our new office located at 606 South Jefferson Street. Be sure to look for the bright red door. The tradition, part of what makes the Tullahoma Wildcats so much fun to root for. We are T-Town Strong, Wildcats at work in the pride of the Tullahoma High School Marching Band. Consequently, that's also what makes shopping at Clayton Shoes so great. Sure, they have a huge selection, including New Balance, Dansko, Merrill, SAS, and more. But it's the tradition that makes shopping at Clayton's a win. Clayton's Family Shoe Store, downtown Tullahoma. Serving the area for over 100 years with service, quality, and fit. Proud supporter of Tullahoma. Tullahoma Athletics. Welcome back to Maplewood High School. Maplewood beats Tullahoma 6-2 to two and advances to the fourth round of the TSSAA playoffs. Welcome into the Glicken Woods postgame show. The Panthers from Maplewood are smiling big tonight. Show off your winning smile with the help of the team at Glicken Woods Dentistry in Tullahoma. Your Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat scoring recap. Well, Maplewood scored after a Tullahoma turnover in the first quarter with 4.14 to go, and that score lasted until Tullahoma, right at the end of the third quarter with 41 seconds left, forced a safety. And that is the scoring recap. Maplewood scores six in the first quarter. Tullahoma forces a safety in the third quarter. The Wildcats had their hands on the ball over and over and over, but just could not generate any offense. And I'm not going to stay here and keep you here while we figure up offensive stats, but trust me, <laughs> it is ugly for the Tullahoma yeah. Wildcats. Ken, it's time to name our Giles Dunn Diamond oh Company player of the game. And look, Let's Tullahoma's offense didn't score any points. Yeah. So the defense played tremendous. So, you know, I'm going to go, I don't know. What do you think? I thought Jacoby Thomas played pretty good. He locked down Kendrell Scurry. He had a couple good punt returns in the game. He played hard offensively. Uh, he had a couple decent runs, but tell him I could get nothing going offensively. Um, of course, 52 played good again, as he always does. I think it's got to be somebody defense slash special team, Scott. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm, I'm going to lead you uh, to a guy who broke up, I think, more passes than anybody else and who punted the football solid all night and kept Tullahoma. And had an yep. interception. Uh, on this field position. Did have an yeah, interception. Yeah, he did have an Absolutely did have one of the turnovers. Right. So let's go yeah. with senior – uh, utility man, offense, defense, punter, Race yeah. Marin is your Giles Dunn Diamond Company player of the game. I, I thought Race had a big impact. Yeah, he, he did. In that secondary, those guys were tipping balls around. He was a leader in that secondary. The defense played great. He punted the ball well again, like you said. And he's He's been a leader in the field general. He doesn't seek the attention. He doesn't uh, play for self. He's a consummate team player, and he's a great leader, and he has a great future ahead of him, that young man does. So, I mean, four turnovers in the first half. And uh, it, it just seemed to sort of – Tullahoma without its most explosive player, Kobe Burks, yep. for the most part without its workhorse running back, Bryson Korn, mm -hmm. for over half the game without its starting quarterback, Ben Fulton, four turnovers, <laughs> at least 10 or yeah. 12 penalties – and had a first down on the 15-yard line and come out of it with no points. To me, that was the that was the drive of the game. That was the defensive stop of the game for the Maplewood defense. That personified 
what they did to us, basically stalemating us for eight quarters, Scott. They held us to eight points in eight quarters. That's what that Maplewood defense did to uh, to uh, tell them was high-powered offense, and nobody's done that to us this year. Nobody. John Olive is still talking to his men out on the field. I'm sure he's uh, emotional. Coach Olive can be that way, especially – with this senior class, our Daniel Scroggins is down on the field, and he's going to get a word with Coach Olive when they break this huddle. And uh, hopefully that won't be too long. So Maplewood and Greenville. Greenville's got to come in here next week. Uh, they're going to have their hands full. But, you know, Greenville, <laughs> yeah. that, that East Tennessee football, it's a little bit different. Uh, brand of football than, than when you come to Maplewood Comprehensive High School. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're going to see a different element here, and they're going to see a big, physical, strong defense. It's really speaking out right now. They have gave up three runs, three three points in game one, seven points in game two, now two points in game three. So that's 12 points in three games, giving up four points in three playoff games. Average. Uh, now, now, Bobo Hodges and then wide receivers need to get on the same page. They missed lots of pass connections tonight. Had some open opportunities. They've got to clean that up. They have one running back banged up, go out of the game. Sutherland ran the ball pretty well, but they're going to have to play much, much better offensively to even stay in the game with Greenville because Greenville is going to put some points up on this defense. All right, let's get one final break in. We'll come back with our interview with Tullahoma head coach John Olive, brought to you by Russell Barnett's automotive family. Maplewood beats Tullahoma 6-2. Coach Olive after this. Are you ready for some football? Are you ready for cool days and cold nights? We're here warming up to serve our community. Stroopsacker Refrigeration would like to congratulate the 2019 class of Tullahoma. Go Cats! Yeah! Whether your vehicle is 20,000 miles or 200,000 miles, you'll get honest answers at North Jackson Tire and Auto Service. Miss Honey and Jonathan greet you with a smile and explain everything in a language you'll understand. Offering bumper-to-bumper -bumper vehicle repairs from brakes, exhaust, shock struts, and more. Oil changes from $24.95. Tires from Goodyear, Kumho, General, and Yokohama. Get your vehicle treated the way you want to be treated. North Jackson Tire and Auto Services. Family-owned, 2009 North Jackson Street, Tullahoma. Your community matters. So does making sure it's well protected. Because Sally's isn't just a cafe. And Smith's isn't just a flower shop. It's years of hard work and investment. Hey, new equipment looks great. And in this moment, you realize your independent auto owner's insurance agent is the right person to protect it. Auto owner's insurance. Tullahoma, Tullahoma falls to Maplewood 6-2 to two in the third round of the TSSAA playoffs. And it's time now for the Russell Barnett Automotive Family Coaches Interview. Our own Smash Scroggins is down there on the field with Tullahoma head coach John Olive. And let's take it down to Smash. I, I, I told the cabbie to call me. Smash, we got nothing. So, uh, so that so we can get they can't get to the field where they're where they're in the first half we kept turning the ball over. That's it, turn that up. And just given just horrible conditions for our defense to go out. Our defense had given us chance after chance after chance. You know, we just couldn't move the ball well enough to score points against them. That their defense is really, really good. Uh, it seemed like both defenses were the tail of the tape, like a throwback type of game. Um, on that, do you think that uh, the next game for Maplewood would be any different? Uh, probably. I don't know who won tonight between Greenville oh, and Greenville won. Sorry. And Greenville's the defending state champion, and they won it by 40-something points last year. They've got uh, Mr. Football back, Kane Ballard. They're all. I mean, they're. Both either one of us would want to be in a tough situation next week, but their defense will play well. It'll be up to whether Bobo Hodges can make enough play against Greenville's defense. With um, with 
few plays. It seemed like uh, Bryson got a couple plays, um, and the safety was a big turnaround. And you talked about your team showing a lot of pride, and you're proud of this team. Is there anything else that you want to say to the community about how much you're appreciative of this oh, team? Oh, I'm so appreciative of our. I'm appreciative of this team now. This team has just done wonders to go from being part of an 0-20 time period to where they're four points away from going to the state semifinals and they hurt right now but they've got no reason to you know hold their heads down or anything they were picked fifth for this region and they proved people wrong all the way through the year and if we had our chance when we ended up trying to kick a field goal there. We had our chance. If we could have scored right there, uh, we might be celebrating and going on to the state semifinals right now. But I want to say to our community, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, it's been a great run, a great ride through this year. Uh, and the community support's been unreal. We've had great crowds at, at home. We had a great crowd here tonight. I think our crowd was bigger than their crowd. Uh, and, you know, uh, today, uh, Chief Shastain, Chief Blackwell, uh, you know, uh, Manchester, uh, Sheriff Parton with the uh, Coffee County Sheriff Department, the fire departments in Manchester, and it was just awesome the escort that the buses were given out of town to the interstate with people out on the streets, uh, America or Lee trying to help drum up sport. It was awesome. It makes something that these guys will talk about for the rest of their lives. They had their cell phones out and there's video on it. It was a life thing that they will remember and uh, you don't get that all the time and uh, it was awesome that our community did that for these young men and I hope that they've enjoyed this season with them. I know I've enjoyed this season. Well, thank you for the interview, Coach. Uh, good job on a great season. Thank you. So there you hear it, Smash and head coach John Olive. Coach, uh, thanking a lot of folks for a lot of things done this year. Ladies and gentlemen, it's football time in Tullahoma. Your town, your team. This is Tullahoma football on Light Tube and the Rooster 101.5.